and we're live. Hello, chat. Hi, everyone. All right, so yeah, uh, welcome back to Princess of the Apocalypse. One of our players is unfortunately a little late. He should be here. Just in time to get eaten by the werebore. Yes, yes, exactly, <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, hopefully he should be here soon-ish. Uh, maybe about a half hour, hour, I think he said. Uh, but in the meantime, hello, Rudolph, yes. Uh, we have a boss fight to get to. Uh, so, when we last left off our players, um, let's see here. They had broken into... Well, not broken into, just kind of walked into <laughs> River Guard Keep. Um, we sailed into it. How did that even work? Yeah, oh yeah, you didn't even walk in. You sailed in. Uh, claiming to be <laughs> uh, messengers from the uh, stone, uh, the Sacred Stone Monastery. I don't and... think we were claiming to be messengers from them, but to have a message about them. Yeah. No, we pretended to be picked up from the bandits that we actually killed and that we yeah, wanted we to join to, up. Yeah. We were trying to make ourselves out as re you know, new recruits for the water cult. Yeah, we were recruited. We are part of this cult. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, we're yeah. cultists. Um, well, you're not cultists yet, but you were recruited into the uh, the River Guard Keep under the order of Jolliver Grimjaw. <clears throat> Who's about to die? <laughs> and then after he after he kills Barjok, of course, because after uh, uh, right. spending you some time. <clears throat> if he focuses me, then a after spending some time running around the castle, kind of getting the lay of the land and running into the uh, the weirdos that inhabit the place. Hello, Keegan. Um, we they uh, eventually caused a distraction by. <laughs> lighting the barracks on fire <laughs> and in the distraction charged in to take on uh, Grimjaw and right before we left off Grimjaw turned out to be a werebore so that's that's something um yeah anyways uh, you got you guys all got off your surprise round uh Jolliver himself, as Velik pointed out several times, transformation is an action, so he has technically already used his turn, but um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Amos, you're up first. Cool. Um, let's see. Just a reminder, you do have Bane active. The, uh, the two with the skulls on them are Baned. Uh, yes. And the third I one's dead. I do know this. <laughs> Uh, which one do I want to use? Uh, uh, let's see. There's not a lot I could personally do. Cast uh, banish. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, I wish. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's paint. Uh, Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna to the this guy right there. I'm gonna uh, cast vicious mockery on him or her. I don't know the gender. Um, uh, on this person. Uh, yes, Max. Er, er, uh, Ershnora. It is a lady. Yep. Ooh, vicious Ershnora, mockery. Yeah. Okay. So wisdom saving throw for me, please. Okay, let me go ahead and pull up her character sheet again because it vanished. Uh, she is a spoilery thing, which I'm gonna not say out loud. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wisdom saving throw, huh? Let's yep. See, does she She's have anything for well. saving throws? Nope. All right. <laughs> yes. Four points of. Psychic damage, and Urshnora has disadvantage on their next attack roll. All right. Oh, and as a bonus action, oh. I'm gonna... 
give bardic inspiration to um oh yeah dm the character's name is different from what we're oh. you might want to change that oh yeah whatever um, but yeah. anyway i'll give bardic inspiration <laughs> to alexi I'll, I'll give it to alexi i mean it's not too much of a spoiler it's it's right. just because I, I doubt you've ever heard of that species before. <laughs> yeah, Alexi, you have a D6 dice that you can use um, for attack. Um, or you can use it as a reaction to bump your AC, or you can use it to add on to damage as well. Hey, cool. Thanks. Yeah. Sick. So yeah, that's my turn. I'm staying where I am. All right, now it's the bad guy's turn. Let's see You mean here. the one that already took his turn? Yep, Grimjaw himself has already taken his turn. He is still in the process of transforming. He's still just continuing to grow hair. Uh, but now it's everyone else's turn. Um, okay. Let's see here. First things first. Uh... Sholar is going to kind of jump backwards just because his uh, his buddy there, Pick, just fucking died. Um, and then he is going to... Uh, let's see here. He begins charging a spell. Um... Uh, let's see here. Let's go with... Sure. Um... Uh, he kind of, like... <laughs> I know we've been talking a lot about Avatar, but, like, he, he kind of, like, just pushes out from himself, and an ethereal wave of water comes rushing forward towards Alethi, or Alexi and Velik. I'm gonna need you to to make a dex saving throw. Oh god damn it. You can use the Bardic inspiration for saving throw as well if you need it. Mm hmm Dex saving that throw. Well, be necessary. Here we go. First, oh no. First, oh never mind. We're <laughs> good. Oh, oh god damn. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Uh on a success, you take half damage and aren't knocked prone. He cast a tidal wave at you. So Man, I already had, took ten damage already. Yeah, I was yeah. wondering where'd you get that from. Do you I know? think I got hit by the bugbear. <gasps> yeah, oh, you yeah, did. Yeah, you era. did. You got smacked by a bugbear, and then you smacked uh, him harder. <laughs> I held rebuked him. I missed. Oh yeah, you missed and got <laughs> knocked out the door. That's what it was. <laughs> Anyways, uh, forty-eight. So half of that would be eleven points of damage. Good Lord. Uh, well, guess who's going to use all his lay on hands? <laughs> <laughs> um, Before Barjok gets one turn to get his ass whooped. So, yeah, that's his turn. And then uh, Ash Ashnora is going to um, hmm. Why does she not have spell slots listed? That's weird. Uh, let's just fill in. It's like four and three, I think. Uh, yeah, she'll do... Uh, um, she uh, takes a defensive stance and... Uh, a layer of frost be to begins to form around her. Uh, let's see, that is an action. Yep, that's an action. Okay, so she, a layer of frost forms around her, and she takes a step forward, avoiding this uh, fire that Velik made. Uh, so that's her turn. And now... Uh, I want you all to make perception checks real quick. 
Uh, Ambos okay. and Velik. I'll say you guys have advantage on it because you guys are closest to the wall. Uh. Oh, I didn't do much better. Whoops. Mm. Uh, mm. But this Barjok see. Oh, yes, Barjok. Thank Barjok. you for reminding me about Barjok. He is here as well. He gets to make rolls, too. I get to... Uh, let's see here. Character sheet. Why is it on his bio? That's weird. Uh, perception. What do you see with your special eyes? <laughs> Not much. <laughs> um, okay. I will say... I got a 13, so I don't know if that's going to be good enough. I'll say, Tedman, oh, yeah. you aren't exactly sure what you hear. So there's a commotion going on outside. You know that. Like, you know what's causing that. There's a fire. Um, yeah. The The noise seems to change... Or... Yeah, you're not entirely sure what's going on. Uh, actually, how much how much movement would that take? Oh, that'd take actually a couple of turns. Never mind. Yeah, you continue to hear the commotion outside. Hmm. All right. <laughs> We're all gonna die. Fantastic. Uh, so yeah, that I mean, is. Really damn, I thought you would roll separate initiative for each individual bad guy. I didn't realize you lumped them all into one initiative roll. Yeah, that's what like I. That's basically what I always do. Would you rather I roll the separate initiatives? Oh, no, I just, uh, you, I, I, I was thinking of how I do it for, like, named characters. That's fair, that's fair. Give them their own initiative. To, to be fair, I was a little panicked last time because me and the rest of the castle were panicking because there was a fire <laughs> and we're trying to figure out what's going on. You think you'd be used to the fire at this point? <laughs> I mean, Not whole buildings. <laughs> it's 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 always it's been a matter it. of escalation. <laughs> All right. Um... I'm, st I'm starting. I've moved up to whole buildings. Next is going to be whole town. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna entire go. Forest. Gonna go set the monastery on fire next. Actually, not place stone. You can't do that. The fire temple. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. Anyways. Um... So, yeah, that's their turn. Uh, Velik. Uh, so first is going to be uh, bonus action. Push Oop, the orb. that guy right on the nose. Just pop. Just Skull pop. Pop it right. All right. Uh, okay. What, what what's a save Dex? I believe. Uh yeah. <clears throat> All right. So he's going to take, Ooh. well, he's got to do the deck save. Makes it. He's, he's, he makes it. So he's going to take five points of fire damage. All right. Oh, wait. Actually, hold on. Hold on. He is baned, so I believe that's a D4. Yeah, minus D4. He fails. He takes and the he's whole gonna take. 10 points of fire damage. Uh, yeah, I'll say definitely at this point, uh, his buddy has died and this orb of water had just, or this orb of fire has just crashed into his face. He's, he's getting reminisce, or he's get, seeing memories of his boats on fire. And you see him lock <laughs> eyes with you and go, just kind of get this look of like, wait a minute. <laughs> it should be still difficult because I think my rolls was pretty high to hide um yes yes his disguise is still you know intact but at this point the fire magic is like wait a minute because <laughs> he's still wearing the same outfit and everything he just gave, he just like but gave messed up his face <laughs> this fire is familiar yeah and i'm gonna pop over there real quick actually okay I don't want to be too lined up with those guys, so I'm there. All right. And then we're going to Scorching Ray, Ooh. old Jolly Grimjaw. All right. Give me some attacks. So that's going to be a... All right. 
Scorching Ray! Ugh. Uh, whoa, hey, that hey, one hey, hits. One. What is his AC? 12, what is indeed? Ooh, all right. Uh, two it's of those hit. 16 hit? 16 hits. I am going to spend two sorcery points ah. to Seeking Spell and re-roll that first one. Ooh, all right. That hits. Yeah! <laughs> all right. So he's going to take all three. There's damage for that one. Damage for that one. Damage for that one. Oof. Okay. That's 24. 24. 24 points of damage. Holy Good shit. shit. Uh... And I'll be like, don't worry, Barjack. Like, all right, I should put my character voice on. Uh, no fears, Barjack. <laughs> I, will, I will help you. I will save you. Too bad Vince isn't here for me to really. Uh, he's in the you chat. I think he's watching so... the stream. Yeah, he's in the chat, so he'll comment oh, soon good. enough, I'm sure. I will, I will save you, uh, Barjack. <laughs> Have no fear, child. Yeah, you, you are uh, like blast him several times in the chest. Uh, the 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 smell of burnt hair and bacon wafts through the room. <laughs> <laughs> I basically try to you know show myself to be the most dangerous person in this room so that they all try to kill me. <laughs> you say that like you aren't actually the most dangerous thing in this room. <laughs> I don't know. I'm almost kind of a wild card there. That's fair, that's fair. Speak also although also speaking of dangerous people, Tedmond, I believe it's your turn. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> well what from the fire. Sides. Because if you end your turn next to it, it will burn you. So stay away uh, from the fire. Yeah. What, within, like, five foot around? Or? Yeah, it's five feet around it. So basically, right. if you're in a square next to it, it will burn you. <clears throat> when you only when, if you end your turn there. If yeah. you go past it, you'll be fine. But you can't. Well, it's kind of like, like putting your hand over a candle. If you just pass over it, you're fine. But if you hold your hand there, it'll burn you. Yeah, I'll... Um... I'll go over here. Keep that guy from moving so he gets the fire. Urgh. Sure. Um, and um, I'll start laughing and tabbing. Oh. <laughs> oh, nice. I uh, believe that hits. Yes, it does. Yeah, both those hit. All right. Uh, six, six, twelve. Okay. And that's um... all. Let me just double check what this does again. Uh, well, um, you so you swing twice, and uh, both of your blades crash into the ice barrier around her, uh, uh, which then explodes back with force. Um, she cast Armor of Agathis at second level. So that's, um, that's, let's, let me double check. Uh, increase temporary hit points and cold damage by five for each slot above. Yeah, so you just took 20 points of cold damage. Ow. All right. Um, yeah. E. Come on, come on, roll 20. Give me the token. Roll 20. What are you doing, buddy? There we go. <clears throat> all right, anything else? Nope, uh, that's all. All right. Uh, so it's Barjok's turn. turn. Uh... Barjok should go hurt what? one of the people. Yeah, hurt. no, I'm, I'm trying to... Uh, Bar Barjok is going to... Uh, let me see if I can do Barjok voice. Go, oh, shit! <laughs> and, and scoot this way. Uh, and try get, and stab... Get, get, get Danik to do an impression. Danik can do the accent. Well, no, I was trying to specifically do a, do a, a, do a Vince too. impression of, of his, oh, shit, <laughs> that just, he does. 
I'm just I'm just making a joke about them being French Canadian. Yeah. Anyways, uh, he's gonna scoot over here. He can't really get any farther because of the stairs and the fire. Uh, let me just double check. Actually, he could make it over here. Uh, he's going to rush over, try and uh, support his uh, his buddy Tedmond. And let's see, what can Barjak do? Uh, let's see, does he have a shield or something out right now? I can't remember. I'll just say he's got his battle axe out. Um, oh, actually, no, wait, he has a duelist thing going on, doesn't he? Dude, how did you do 20 points of cold damage in Tedman? When you only cast a second level. Because second level is 10 points. And she still had those temporary hit points on the second hit. Oh, okay. He did 12 points of damage. That was enough to knock off the temporary hit points, but... Uh, I see what you're saying. It was still two hits against the armor. Um, <sighs> let's see. Barjak... Um, let's see, for Duelist, you have to, uh, be attacking with a one-handed thing, don't you? Okay, so, oh. and I'm going to, a does he have two attacks? I don't know. I think he only has the one. Just generally not, because we're not quite level. Right, right, Ted Tedman's just special in that. Just Tedman does his offhand attack. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, it's not really an extra attack. Long sword. Non extra extra attack. Long sword hits. Uh, I'll say he go. He activated it. Yeah, he already activated his right of the storm. I do remember that. So that would be six plus eight damage to her. <clears throat> And I believe that's Barjak's turn. Alexi? All right. So, uh, quick question. Uh, I, Lay on Hands is currently in action right now. Um, mm -hmm. By any chance, is there any other rules for it, or is it just an action? It is, unfortunately, an action. All right, then I'm going to want... slap in 10... I'm going to go slap in uh, 18 points of light. Uh, I'm going to go slap in... Ah, fuck it, whatever. I'm going to go slap in 18 points of Lay on Hands... And I'm going to go uh, fucking hog uh, the hog. Hey, that's a good plan. Uh, just don't stand next to the fire. <laughs> Can I stand on top of his desk? Uh, yeah, but yeah, I would stand over here. So you're not no, next to the fire. Fine. Yeah, yeah I will say you could... Into, I don't want to get into the firing range of Velik, though. I, <laughs> I will say yes, you can hop up onto his desk. <laughs> All right. Well, at the very least, as long as uh, Velik can... Actually, Velik can always target around me, I guess. Yeah, no, you, you're fine. All right. By the way, we're out of healing, everyone. Oh no, Valak's got plenty uh, of I potions, healing. I think. Oh, and Amos can heal. Cool. And then I end my turn. Um, <clears throat> wait, wait. Nope, that's an action. Never mind. Alright. Alexi stands ready. Amos, your turn. Uh, cool. Um, let's see. What can I do... That's a good question. I thought I had plenty of potions, but I'm not seeing them in here. Really? I thought you had so at least one. You have more than I do. No, you should have several, because you got a couple... I have. I've, I'm seeing two. Yeah, because you got... I wonder if... Maybe you drank some. I thought some. I had more than two. I don't remember drinking any potions. It's been a while. I think you might have. Oh, well, Maybe. Because I know you bought at least one before you left uh, Red Larch, and then you got a few more when you raided, when you attacked those pirates. Okay. Did we put I... those in a party? Possibly. No, I think we, we put them in the party. Ah, uh, yes, you did. There's four healing party. potions in the party. Oh. Okay. So cool. wait, does that just work that we can all just grab something? Uh, I'll say in this case, retroactively, each one of you can have a potion if you want it. I think Sorry, I'm... Barjok. 
<laughs> no, give one to Barjok. I don't need it. Okay, so I'll add one to Barjok's inventory. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, despite that, I'm going to use my bonus action to cast uh, Healing Word on um, Headmend. Uh, I'll go ahead and remove those from the party treasure then. First level. So you get five points of... That's really bad. Five points of healing, Tedmund. Um, that's the oh, minimum. Oh, minimum healing. <laughs> oh. Yeah, sorry about that, but that's still five. Yeah, that's <laughs> better, better than nothing. losing five. Yeah, it's and... It's like you're going to take 20 damage every turn. <laughs> then I nope. am going to cast Vicious Mockery on the Werebore. Okay. So uh, let me roll for him. It's just mockery. Jolliver, wisdom saving throw. He fails. Yeah, it's minimum damage here. So one point of psychic damage. But he has disadvantage on his next attack roll. Yes, he on does. On top of the bane. On top of the bane. <clears throat> Perfect. That means he's not going to kick Speaking my ass. Speaking of, are you going to move anywhere or is that your turn? Um, I... <clears throat> I'm going to move slightly on top of the stairs right here. Okay. Oh, just uh, like right do you there. Want, just do you want a quick peek of what's actually up there, or, or are you just oh, going to sure, stand why there? Not. Okay. In that case, I'm just going to scoot you oh. over here real quick. Okay. Oh, it's just the top. Yep. Uh-huh. Okay. There, there is a balcony up above, and then there's a hallway leading off. Yeah, I'm not going to be bold enough to explore that right now. I kind of figured. I just figured I'd show you while you were up there. Thank you. All right, there you go. So yeah, you get a quick peek of what's up there. Yeah. All right. Now it is everyone else's turn. Uh, first up is Jolliver. Um, he, uh... Um... He is very singed and very angry, and he turns his, his, uh, grabs a large maul and begins swinging it at you, Alexi, because you are right in his face. Curses. Ha! Oh, wow, he's rolling bad. <laughs> ha! That was, uh... Things are looking up for Alexi. Uh, that was a six and a seven. Yikes. All right. <laughs> oh, wait, really? Yeah. Oh, wow, that could have gotten so much worse. Yeah, yeah, no, he rolled bad. Uh, so unfortunately, that was his attack. So he swings and kind of bounces off your shield. Uh, Sholar is going to take a step back from this fire. Um, and... Yeah, as if that will save him. <laughs> the fire follows next turn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, actually, he's going to cast, uh, let's see, yeah, sure, um, a series of, uh, like, bolts of bubbling water form around him, uh, let me see here, how many is it? Uh, three darts, to be precise, and they're pointed at you, Velik. Oh, gee. <laughs> Will these darts happen to do something like forest damage? Yeah, they might be magic missiles. <laughs> For chance? Does he, does he launch them at me? Yeah. Oh, 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 shit. <laughs> I knew that was coming, <laughs> but that's what he was going to do. He's just like, shit. He, he was like, another wizard. I need to break concentration. Wow, that's really specific. So he, uh, yeah. he launches his, uh, little watery magic missiles at me, and then I, uh, wave my arm and a shield of flame <laughs> appears between me, and it's kind of almost translucent flame, but the, mm -hmm. uh, these little watery magic missiles just <laughs> on my, uh, shield, and they do nothing! Hell Yeah. 
<laughs> All right. And then it is... It's like anybody else doing anything to me. Now my AC is... What is my AC now? It's higher. 21. 21! <laughs> and then Ashnora is going to... Has other problems um, to worry about. Transform into an eldritch monster that's blue. Not yet. Hold your horses. <laughs> um, Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, she is actually going to cast... Let me see here. Um, she's going to turn to Barjak, who just like ran up to her and slashed her, and um, her uh, blue hand begins to uh, darken and becomes a set of black claws, and she's going to she uses them to take a swing at Barjak. Twenty two hits minus D four. Minus D. Uh, she's oh, wait, not she's not banned. She's not banned. Okay. <laughs> All right. So Barjak, I believe a 22 hits. <laughs> yeah, 17. So, 10. And uh, you see the uh, the wounds on her begin to patch up. <clears throat> All right. And uh, let me just double check their movement speed. Yeah, they can make it here. Um, Bugbears. Uh, you guys want to make perception checks again? <laughs> See if you hear sure. anything. Uh, sure. I don't suppose I have advantage on this one, though. Huh? No, you're a little too far away. Almost does, though, so. And... God damn! Nope. <laughs> wow! Uh, almost. <laughs> almost. You you hear uh, commotion outside uh, where the um, the bandits are, be are um, you know, screaming about fire, screaming about being on fire trying to find the buckets, realizing the buckets are in the fire. Um, you know, all that jazz. This really was a very uh, and then you, So it's hard to hear over all of that commotion, but then you hear a voice cut through it um, that begin. You're not entirely sure, but it seems to be ranting something about uh, how dare you and these heretical flames. And... Oh. Then you hear oh. <laughs> what sounds like a shit ton of rocks wait, wait. falling outside. You're not entirely sure what. Um, oh, okay. so the DM's planning to, to do away with our <laughs> wonderfully planned and perfectly executed distraction to have the entire camp come and kill us. Look at her. <laughs> Look at her trying to plan a total party wipe. Distraction? What distraction? There's no distractions allowed here. <laughs> <laughs> Rocks fall from the sky, fires put out. Uh, not, so... not rocks, precisely. Let me see, what was... Giant uh, elementals coming to kill the entire camp? Uh, let me see here. Well, there might be, um... A, uh, a character outside that knows how to cast Sleet Storm. Guys, I got some bad news. Uh... We're not going to get back to our ship. Does this conclude the bad guy's turn? Yes, that would be the end of the bad guy's turn. <laughs> All right, then. Can I get a saving throw from that one, please? A I mean, what? For shit damage, but... Oh, right. Yes, I forgot. She is still next to the fire. Well, she's kind of yeah. pinned in, so... I was being careful to not say anything. <laughs> That's okay. She, like I said, she's Until kind of pinned in. declared the end of their turn. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Only two points I mean, of damage. Shit damage, but... All right. That's all right. 
Barjok and Tedman have that one. He gets a little extra damage. I'm going to bop the Tiefling with the flame again for my bonus action. All right. I'm going to back him into a fucking corner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another deck save. He fails. Uh, How right. much damage? So, much better damage. A bit better, Not yeah. The last time. A bit better than, uh, than what the other one got. Yes, indeed. All right. Yeah, he's not having a good time. Um, no. He's having what they call a bad time. <laughs> As I planned. Um, then I'm going to send some of my own magic missiles. These ones are like flaming darts instead of bubbly, watery bullshit darts. Of course. <laughs> and they're going to go at... Um, what's his face? Jolly old Grimjaw there. All right. So, bink, bank, bunk. Okay, and That's obviously all of those hits. So. Twelve points of damage. Indeed, it is. Anything else? How is he not dead yet? Because he's a werebore. Oh, you were hitting which? Oh, I thought you were hitting the the fucking tiefling. No, no, no. He's no, been doing no. all his attacks at Grimjaw. I've been spreading the love out, man. <laughs> Burning I've been love. A piece <laughs> <of everybody. laughs> Don't worry. I'll just be sure to spread all my divine smites into this werebore as well. All right. Anything else? Oh, fuck. No, go away, Spotify. I don't want you. <laughs> Delic? Um. Nope, that'll be all for me, I think. All right, Tedmund, you're up. There's no more frosty armor, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, yeah, um... I could heal, but I think I, I'll just attack. I will I will say, oh. uh, if you want to feed yourself a potion, it is a bonus action. Yeah, and I have second wind, too. Oh, yeah, you do have second wind. Uh, but, unfortunately, okay. a seven wait. does miss. Oh, that wait, doesn't, no, though. Holy matter. shit. <laughs> uh, Eleven. All right. Man, it's going to suck when these guys transform and they're going to get like, all their health because it's just a different enemy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And then it is Barjok's turn. Um... See how much? Okay, let's see. He's just gonna take another swing at her with his long sword. Oh, I don't think that's gonna hit. No, that's not gonna hit. Oh wait, actually, no, she, no, she didn't do that. Uh, actually, yeah, no, that does hit. <laughs> she never cast mage armor. She cast armor of Agathus. <laughs> wait, hold on. Her armor class is less than ten. Uh, her armor class is 10. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, uh... Alright, so that hits. Whew, she's not looking good. Um, Alexi, your turn. Alright, this is it. The moment's been we've all been waiting for. Uh, I'm gonna hit the werewolf. I'm gonna hit the werebore with my hammer. <laughs> yes, Rudolph, crying is a free action. <laughs> no, you're not. Okay, I'm sorry. I have missed. All right, I end my turn. <laughs> well played, werebore. <laughs> you wild. My every attack. <laughs> you two are just swinging at each other and whiffing. <laughs> It's like one of the Power Ranger cartoons. It's <laughs> just two people <laughs> moving around in open space. All right. Almost, you're up. Uh, yeah. So I am going to use a charge from my Wand of Magic Missiles. And oh. use the first level version of it to hit Grimjaw. Okay. Hell yeah. Can't get out by the easiest method ever. 
Yeah, yeah so uh, 11 points of force damage on Grimjaw. Uh, yeah, it hits. He's not, he's not looking so hot right now. Yeah, and I don't have a bonus action really worth it. Um, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'll give a bardic inspiration dice to Velik. Okay. And I'll just, I'll, I'll just sure this people this is just like the bonus thing that my college gets all right velik you feel inspired anything else mm. is it too hard to kind of peek outside this door or uh, you can, you can like what's going on uh out this out this window here yeah okay yeah you can like scoot down the stairs and peek out the window uh, what can you actually see from where you are? I see uh, a lot L. of <laughs> okay. bandits. Yeah. Um, so you see the building is no longer on fire. You see uh, large piles of like chunks of ice just scattered all over the ground. Uh, these uh, reavers are kind of flat on their butts but are still conscious however all of the bandits are appear to be unconscious and on the ground like they've just been paled but been pelted by rocks okay okay cool i'll stay here okay uh now it's the bad guy's turn start with jo start with jolliver and his uh, uh, his movie fight <laughs> with Alexi. He's going to try. Watch, watch him get a critical. Watch him get a goddamn critical. Oh no! Swing and a miss. Oh gosh, that one hits. Minus D four. Minus D four. Minus D four. Does a twenty still hit? <laughs> I'm gonna. Can I? Can I use my bardic inspiration to move up my AC? Yes, you can. Oh my gosh, you are determined to not take a hit. Uh, wait. Uh, uh, he's... No, it's perfect. He hit. He hits. Me. Oh. Uh, that ends the clown fiesta. <laughs> the clown not fiesta. Yet. Wait a minute. It's not over yet. <laughs> oh yeah, we are not done clowning yet. But anyways, you take ten points no, no, of bludgeoning no, no, damage. I'm not done yet oh? because I'm going to actually uh, cast Hell Rebuke. <laughs> well, you still take the yeah, ten I... bludgeoning. Of course, of course. Hey, uh, DM, just here. Uh, I cannot see um, Alexi's health bar like I can my other party members. Yeah, same here. I, I That's uh, weird. Hold on. Um, player permission C. Save settings. Did that fix it? Yeah. Hell yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, deck saving throw from the werebore. Um... Nope. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you, he he finally manages to hit you, and then you just like spit fire back at him. <laughs> He's like fucking fire. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's, what's up with these guys with uh, fucking fire? <laughs> okay. Um, hold on. Let me just double check something real quick. Gotta check something also, in the I have, book. I have one more spell slot. That's though. probably what that tiefling is thinking right now, too. Fucking fire! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm uh... just like, bird, bird. No, I meant the other, not 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 Almos. I meant, yeah, <clears throat> um... bad guy tiefling, not the good guy tiefling, the bad guy tiefling. So confusing. I'm so used to being the only tiefling. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm work I'm trying to make it so again. Where I'm working is... on it. Well, I will. I will make you the um, only tiefling once more. Have no okay. worry, guys. The uh, dragon, Grim Dragonborn slot is filled. Grimjaw suddenly realizes that this shit isn't going well for him. Um, he's gonna take a step back. So you do get an act attack of opportunity. All right, here it goes. Whiff, whiff! Come on. <laughs> please, please! I believe in the heart of the cards. 
I think that hits. All right. Yeah, cool, that hits. Pump divine smite. Oh, good lord. <laughs> <laughs> and damage. Takes 11 damage. Uh, he goes down. <laughs> oh, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. The bludgeoning damage doesn't hit him. It's no, just the radiant. He's still up. <laughs> damn. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm also out of ways to hit him now. Okay, so he's still Battle. up. And he runs over to this wall and kind of like... Hold on, let me... Kind of kicks it in, and there's a doorway there. And so he, he runs in and appears to be running down a set of stairs. Oh, that son of a bitch. Let's see, where does it come out to? It's down here. Whoa. Oh, I hit it when a token just suddenly stretches out of nowhere. <laughs> All right. Damn it. So, yeah, he's. Uh, can you guys see the door? Yep. Yep. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, he, he's book assing out of here. Can you still hit him with magic missile? Uh, no, he has he to be in sight. Team, oh, damn. Okay. Uh, Sholar is going to. Uh, what is he going to do? Yeah, it's a, t a target of your choice that you can see. Yeah. Magic missile. Troller is going to just stand there and take the fire like the little bitch he is. Uh, he is going to... Um... Don't Tieflings have resistance to fire, actually, now that I think about it? I don't think so. Uh... Uh, yeah. Yeah, they do, but this one might not actually be a Tiefling. His character oh. sheet might actually be for a fucking uh, Genasi. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> um, which is weird that you, you'd think Water Genasi would have something about fire damage, but I don't see anything. Oh, damn, they do. Oh, shit. Um, he does have... What does he have? I thought I saw... Okay. Um He is going to is that an action that's an action as well. Um He's gonna cast uh Let's see here. He points at Oh wait no, I'm looking at the wrong character sheet, that's why. Doi. Yes, no, he does. Um, and that is a bonus action, correct? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, he's going to point at Uvelik and uh, a beam of white magic is going to shoot from his finger. Uh, does a 15 hit? Ray of Frost. A 15 does not hit. 15 does not hit. All oh, right, your AC is boosted. No, not right now. That my shield's done, but my oh, right. normal AC is sixteen. Ooh, chunky sorcerer. All right. Um, it's, that, it's, that, it's that draconic. Oh my god! Is that ancestry sorcerer. Oh uh, yeah, it is. Okay. I have Barjok's base back. thirteen. Barjok. Thirteen. Oh sh. Oh shit! Hold on, I got it. So, like, but yeah, so my AC is kind of base 13 plus my dexterity. I, I got to adjust the cameras then. Hold on. Barjok's here. Barjok's here. We can, we can win this fight against the Saiyans. <laughs> it gets blown up instantly. Let's see here. Barjok has respawned. <laughs> I have gained back my sentience. <laughs> <laughs> No, I won't make I was, stupid decisions like rolling I was, five. I was struck in awe and the fear to, at the uh, at the sight of this uh, abomination, but now I have taken hold of myself. <laughs> Why are you laughing? What's so funny? The, the, our chat, our little chat we've got going. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> All right. Yeah, I just read it. All right. Hey, guys. Uh. my camera. <clears throat> okay, there we go. That should be the cameras all fixed. All right. And, okay, let's continue. Where was I? Right. Um, he's going to look around, realize the battle is not quite going his way either, and he's going I mean, to... It, it hasn't ever been going his No, it's way. not. Um, <clears throat> let's see. He got one good hit in with that tidal wave, and that's he, it. Uh, he he kind of um, he he it almost looks like he begins to boil, <laughs> uh, like boiling water, and then he just turns into a vapor cloud and poof goes over here. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> Did he miss his step? Yep. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then he's going to begin... Do you think that Misty stepping is going to save him? No, but running will. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, shoot. Maybe. I forgot. Uh, Barjak. Door. Yeah, you, you, you said you were going to try and bar the door. Make me a check to see how successful you were on that. <laughs> what kind? Just a d20? I don't, I don't know. See, you figure... An, intellig an intelligence check. To see if I manage to work out a lock. Sure, sure. Let's go for that. Hey, yoink! There you go. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's gonna run for the door and like, bam, <laughs> slam into it, <laughs> uh, and begin fiddling with the lock, trying to open it. <laughs> the shadow realm is gonna be sent towards him. Um, and then our Shinora is going to, uh, she's still got her vicious looking claw going on and, uh, is going to take a swing at, let's go for Tedbin this time. Actually, uh, didn't you go for Tedbin last time? No, I went no, for Barjak Bar last time. Uh, okay. Oh, that explains my 20 hit points. Yeah. Yeah. You got vampiric touched boy. Ooh. Um, let me see here. Uh, yeah, she's going to take a swing at Tedmond. Does a 14 Ooh. hit? Nope. Oh. All right. <clears throat> so, yeah, she, she swings her claws at you and whiffs. Um... Uh, what is everyone outside going to do? They have... Hmm, have they noticed the fight going on yet? I'd say not yet, no. Okay. <laughs> they still seem to be disoriented from the, uh, the hailstorm. <laughs> <laughs> and you continue to hear yelling about fire and the, uh, the, the, uh, Prophecies of the deep water and all of that stuff, Amos. What? Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, the the heretical fire in this uh, in this bastion of the deep ocean. <laughs> hmm. Um, but that's their turn. Velik, you're up. I'm torn. Part of me wants to finish this tiefling off. <laughs> Yeah, kill, Do the, it. kill the one that's kill the ones that's part of me wants to chase down Jolly Grimjaw and finish him off. I don't know how close the tiefling is to being finished off. I'm pretty sure Grimjaw is just about dead. I could go after him as well. You go so. after Grimjaw. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, I can I go after the tiefling. I mean, Worth kill that. the one in front of you right now. Yeah. Uh. How far can I move it? I don't think I could reach the teethling. Nope. His his misty step did save him from the fire. Because <laughs> he misty step. Oh no! Wait, wait! He didn't go far enough. 
<laughs> 30 feet? Really? I thought it was like a 15 foot. Nope, it's 30 feet. Uh, I'm thinking of, oh, I'm thinking of Sacred Weapon, aren't I? Uh, you mean Spiritual Weapon. Or Spiritual Weapon, yeah. Plus, plus it's enough. 20 feet. All right, as a bonus action, you can move the spear up to 30 feet. All right, yeah, you slam it into him. Uh, he makes a dex save. Can he actually make a dex save? <laughs> no, he can't. <laughs> Man, these spare. guys are rolling terribly. They oh, are. I am. Awful. I am disappointed in these in these bad guys. They are a joke. <laughs> Is he still alive? Yeah. Damn it. He's actually fairly strong. Like. You still have a main action. Yeah, but I wanted to use that on Grimjaw. I don't even know if I can catch up to him though. Uh, well, went down the stairs. Uh, no, you could you could that, get to so the no. top of the stairs, but it's a spiral staircase <clears throat> no, downward. I won't, I won't be able to catch him. Damn it! All right, well, let's. Uh, I don't want to burn spell slots on this guy. Let's try a fire bolt. Good choice. You sure? I'm sure. I... Does a sixteen hit? Uh, let me double check. Uh, yes. Oh my god! Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, none of these guys have much in the way of armor. It's almost like they're Wait, they were just hanging stop. around their fortress, not expecting to be attacked. I, I think he's still alive, right? <laughs> yes, he's very much still alive. I have alive. a bardic inspiration that I can add to my damage. Oh. All yes, right. you do. I have not used yet. All right. Oh my oh, god! Oh my god. <laughs> hey, Vel hey, Vela, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Oh. He's still alive. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Imagine the entire thing gets ruined by him escaping. He's like, this fucking guy's attacking us. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Anyways, anything oh, else god. you want to do? <laughs> No. All right. I want to kill him. <laughs> Tedmund? Well, I'll continue uh, hacking Save and slashing a... this guy. Oh, jeez. Save us all, Tedmund. Uh, yeah, she's, um... Both those hit her. Uh, oh! Uh, 28! Oh! Uh, yeah, no, she's very dead. <laughs> All right, well then. She was probably dead on the first one, man. Uh, she was dead on the first damage. She only had 11 hit points. <laughs> ah. Ah. Oh, man. <laughs> well. Uh, yeah. People have left, God damn it! Before anything happens, DM, I can't see shit right now. Right? Uh, again, where, Barjak? Where, where is the, the one that uh, Tedman killed, and where, and where is the one that Velik is trying to kill so that he doesn't escape and alert everyone? The one, okay, hold on. What can I you see? Control here. L. You should be able to see just fine. Okay, apparently, I can't. So the ones that escaping. Oh, it's it's the thing where your token where can't see, here. isn't it? Hold on, let me get you a new yeah. token. He's here. Yep. You can All see, right, but so... your token can't. Yeah, fuck. That's not far enough. I think. Uh, yeah, Let's I see. can't use Curse of the Fallen Puppet because his speed is probably thirty. Feet, Can you see so now? Be able to. Hey. Oh shoot! I forgot to keep track of what your AC was. Or you're not your AC. My your AC? um. The seven. It was seven DM. Okay. It was. It was your seven. Your initiative. That's what I meant. Okay. Yeah, he went after. He was between Tedman and. and uh, right, so advanced. unfortunately, that one is too far for me to use Curse of the Fallen Puppet. Bad so turn. never mind. All right. Yeah. Oh, how far can you move the whole Curse of the Fallen Puppet guy? Uh, half of its speed. So assuming it has a normal speed, that would be thirty. Feet. Okay. It does, unfortunately. Yep. So fifteen feet. Yeah, yep, no, you need to move 20 to get it in range. Indeed I do. Alright. Mm. Yes, anyway, I can, yes, I, I can, I can see now, and I can also move my token. So right. everything's, so everything's great. 
All right. Um, I guess I'll just move out of the way, and that's it. Okay. Alexi? He's getting away! Isn't it Barjok's turn? Barjok's immune to... Oh, whoops. Yeah, I forgot to... Wait, 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 wait. What? Barjok... Right. Nope. I forgot to re. I forgot to reorder. I put him in, but I forgot to reorder. So yes, now it is. It is Barjok's turn first. My apologies. All right. Where the where the hell is uh, his uh, Grimjaw? Grimjaw he went away. through this way, and the he ran down a spiral staircase. Fucking guy, rabbited. Yeah, I mean, would you say he borrowed? I he think I'm going his to way out of there. <laughs> I think I'm going to try and kill this one first. Yep. Just watch out for Barja or for Velix Flame Sphere. So how does it work? Can I? If you end your turn within five feet of it. So let me calculate the distance real quick. Okay, so I can go here, right? Mm-hmm. And then I can back up. Yes. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm All right. I'm going to rush here. And I am going to attack it. And does he have armor? Uh. Does this one have armor? Oh, that's actually a good point. Uh... Doesn't matter because I didn't u- I didn't use my uh, my uh, my long sword. I used my battle axe. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, so yeah, I am going to. Uh, do I have initiative? In now I don't have an inspiration, so I'm just going to battle axe. Woo! Yeah, that hits. Sure. All right, and he's going to take fourteen points of damage. Okay. Did that do it. No, he's still up, but he's not looking so good. So no hope. Now it's your turn. Alexi, he's getting away! <laughs> hey, have on, no hold fear? On. I will hold go on, after him. You there can't you hit him, though. <laughs> or can I? Or can you? I don't know. Can I reach him in time? Okay. Well, let me... S- yes. Uh, let me go ahead and move you real quick. I gotta sh- shift you down to uh, the secret tunnel... Um, Secret tunnel. Yeah, you come Secret out just behind tunnel. him. I hope, I hope to God that it doesn't end with the, the last part of the song. <laughs> and die. They die. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You. Uh. No. You. You. And end your have, movement here. Yeah. And I do have a weapon I can use against him. <clears throat> do you? My natural weapon. My breath weapon. Oh shit. <laughs> 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 what is your breath weapon, if you don't mind me asking? I am a copper dragon, so I completely forgot to write it down. It's acid. Thank you. It's acid. So if you're a metallic, then it'd be a cone. So it's a cone of acid. Yep. Okay. Uh, DC is 8 plus con plus proficiency. So what's the DC? 8 plus con plus proficiency is 8 plus 2, so 10 plus proficiency. So it is 12. Okay, and... Acid would be a con save, I believe. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, no, it's a dexterity save. It's a dex save? Um, it is. Pretty sure. It is actually a line. Copper. Copper breathes in a line? line? That's what it's... I'm looking right at it. Copper. Well, it's more a... Five by 30 that's, foot line. That's okay. weird. Okay, but it is a dex save. So, Jolliver Grimjaw. Dex save. Oh my god! <laughs> he rolls oh. a two. <laughs> oh, is that enough? Is it dead? Is that enough? Is it dead? He's dead. Uh, he's dead. I'll say since he's the main. I know there's one more alive, but since he's the main boss, how how do you do this? <laughs> All right. So as he's escaping down the stairs. Oh, whoop! That was you. My bad. <laughs> there as we go. As he's escaping down the stairs, he sees that I'm coming. He sees that I'm coming right at the end of it, and. At, and he's like a distance away from me. So as he's preparing to pounce and strike, I open my mouth and unleash a wave of acid, melting him in the air. All and right. He falls down like a werewolf skeleton, I guess. Werebore, but close enough. Werebore skeleton. Yeah, he just collapses to the ground. Nasty looking yep. pig skull looking back at you. Uh, today, marks the, today marks the first day of my path to redemption. Today marks the first day that a Dragonborn's breath weapon has been useful. I know, right? That was freaking, like, I just, like, was looking at my... That was clutch. And I was like, oh my god, Dragonborns have an attack. (laughs) Quick, push him down the stairs. (laughs) (laughs) 
All right. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Keegan. Uh, <laughs> I believe that is your turn. Yep, that's the end of my turn. All right, Amos. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to gonna come over here, hear the dragon's breath, I'm assuming. And I'm just going to be like, okay, well. Yeah, you hear a scream and a thunk. <laughs> And, um, you hear Alexi basically puke his guts out, just like, <laughs> and the guts <laughs> wheels of a boar. Oh. And I'm gonna cast Dissonant Whispers. Oh no. First level on mm. the tiefling. All right. So he's gotta make a wisdom saving throw, and he's still banged. Yes, he is. It doesn't matter because the DM can't roll for shit. What the hell? Oh my god! I, I think everyone in, like who's been a DM experience just knows this feeling right now. Holy shit! Okay, uh, 3d6 psychic and this is one of those moments where you're like, damn it! Why don't I make my rolls behind the screen so that whatever I say, they <laughs> no, I don't mind. The dice are fucking me over, but you know what? It's okay. <laughs> Such is life in dice land. So, such is the yeah. life of D and D. It's because you put oh. a wonderful fire. Sorry, what was that, Velik? It's because you put out the wonderful fire we set that building on. <laughs> the dice are <laughs> fair, the building's still for gone. Extinguishing our fire. All right, um, not a great damage roll, so he's still up. And what, what what is it? Um, must immediately use its reaction if available to move as far as its speed allows away from you. Um, uh, well, it's on its turn. On on its turn, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then let's see. Um, well, it can't. Well, it can't run away from you because the door is locked. So it kind of like just <laughs> continues. Actually, actually, yeah. Hold on. Uh, high or low, Amos? Ooh. Ooh. Low. All right. Oh, it's high. Uh, he, be he begins screaming and banging on the door. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, well, it's fine, guys. Don't worry. Grimjaw gave us a secret exit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't throw a dagger as a bonus action, can no, I? No, you can't. Mm, bonus action, bonus action. You know what? I'm gonna... I need Gonna move up a little closer. And I know I don't have much in the ways of actions, but I'm gonna be like, you're a disgrace to all T-flings. That's my turn. All right. Uh, Velik, your turn. Come on, kill it. Come on, kill it. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Can he make his one last dex save when it doesn't matter? No, he no can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How much damage? There we go. Eleven. Uh, yeah, he only had three. Um. <laughs> So you slam this, like, basketball of fire into his back as he, like, hammers on the door. And he almost seems to, like, steam like he's boiling and just he collapses. Huh. All right. I'm going to so, say... Uh, point my fingers at me, we're like, that is for attacking that poor village that did nothing to you. There. All right. Um... I'm just happy it wasn't for something petty. You see... Uh, well, I guess... Uh, okay, so I'm gonna no, no. say... Hey, you I had an axe to grind with that guy, he was dying. <laughs> uh, yes, no, he did. That was part of his his uh, dramatic backstory. Um, I'm gonna say we're still in combat right now. Or at least Makes we're sense. still in initiative. Uh... Mm -hmm. Uh, so now the guys on the outside should make a perception roll to see if they heard the tiefling. Well, it, well, it is still your turning. turn, Velik, so we'll resolve that after um, your turn. 
Yeah, I'm just going to leave my ball of fire right there by the door, and I'm going to look the others and kind of shrug, like, now what? <laughs> Ambush? You could do that. All of it? Escape? Probably escape. L looting? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that's a good idea. <laughs> hey guys, I found a secret exit. What happened upstairs? Well, you haven't come back up to tell us yet, so... I'm just shouting don't... from... I'm shouting from the stairwell. Oh, right. Um... <clears throat> Anyways, I'll end my turn. Okay. Um... Let me see here. Um... Okay, so you're just, just going to end your turn there. Let me roll, see how much people notice. Um, let me see, these guys are over here. Um, those guys are all unconscious. Um, I'll say, yeah, okay. Uh, everyone roll me some perception. Everyone? Yeah. I, do I? Uh, oh yeah, except for you. Uh, you're kind of downstairs. Got it. Okay. Oh, uh, now you get the good rolls. Uh, Barjok and Velik. Uh. That's right. You hear from upstairs a door creaking open. Oh, like some, like someone's oh, being like trying to be real stealthy and being real bad at it. Uh, you also, um, uh, <clears throat> uh, you also notice a, uh, terrified individual looking at you from through this doorway. Ah, oh, that's right. The enslaved people that they're keeping as servants. This one over really here, servants. though, is looking at you quite angrily and holding a kitchen knife. Oh, well. Oh. Time to die. <laughs> time to die. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh. Let's say they're beginning to move there, and then these guys are going to just kind of wander around a little bit, trying to figure out what's going on. Slipping around on the ice. Uh, okay. So that's the bad guy's turn. Tedmund, what are you going to do? I killed the cook. <laughs> <laughs> no, um... <laughs> I mean, what do we want to do? Are we just escaping, or are we fighting? Well, the cook won't really take much effort in killing, so... No, I, I, I didn't mean them. I mean the people outside. Uh, we're... I think the best plan is to escape, but leave no witnesses if they're well, gonna we fight to, us. We have to take the, the, the like, the, the, the uh, indentured servants with us. I mean, Amos, you can point out the fact that, uh, uh, most of them outside appear to be unconscious. Yeah. Yeah, but we don't know what's out there. Plus, I don't want to run uh, into that crazy lady. <laughs> a lot a lot of uh, Reavers who are mildly on fire. <laughs> I don't know. Let's not waste efforts. It's spell slots. Yeah, some of you guys... All right, so I, I, will, I will say at this point, uh, just, just for context... Uh, you have defeated basically the boss of the area, so you're not entirely sure what will happen, but you theorize it might destabilize them enough that they give up this outpost. Well, maybe not give up this outpost, but it's definitely destabilized things by quite a bit. I would also like to point out that uh, we now know about this secret tunnel that mm -hmm. obviously was an escape route, yep. which could be a route for us to come back in unnoticed 
potentially. Uh, yeah, it depends on where it out. goes, but yes. We might be able to just hang out here for a while and wait for the heat to die down, and then we could steal back the boat. That is a good. That is an <laughs> option. Yeah, you don't know how many people know about the secret exit. And judging by the man that Grimjaw was by the first two meetings I've ever had with him, he seems like the type of guy who would keep secrets. So, Tidman, what do you do? Ah, uh, I mean, sounds like we're you, leaving. Um, you also haven't looted anything yet, and you know this is a basically a pirate castle, so there's got to be some treasure around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Personally, before yeah, I don't leaving... Think, I don't think there's any um, huge rush to leave. But yeah, I don't think, um, I mean, I've got three spell slots left with the option to make a fourth if I need to. Mm-hmm. Um, but I can keep this uh, flaming spear up for a while. I'd say let's push our luck a little bit and stay a little bit longer. Well, I can hold it for a whole yeah. minute and we've you had it up for, I think we've, what, four or five rounds? Mm, not even, like two or three, I think. <laughs> Two or three rounds? Three know. rounds, three, yeah. Two, three. So, I can hold it up for a little longer. Um, mm-hmm. I have, I can cast it one more time after this. Okay, so then um, let's try looting. And then. So looting. we can loot this building. Personally, bring anyone who wants to escape with us, bring them with us. Yeah, personally, I'm going to go and... upstairs and see what they, who opened the door. Okay, well, you can do that on your turn. First, though, yep. I'm going to request a 10-minute break. Oh, okay. Great. Okay. Okay. All right. Yep. Uh, be right back, stream.
And we're back. All right. All right. Uh, all right. Um, Penman is gonna take a deep breath and get the, some hit points back. Um, not bad, not bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I guess I'll go to the door and like put my back against the wall. Okay. And um, I guess I'll just wait and see what happens and what we're doing. Well, the door is oh, locked. No, I... Well, the door is locked, and it's like basically barred from the inside. So. And they're big doors. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's like, a, it's a big well... double door. This is basically like a main hall of a castle. Uh, however, you were the one of the. No, no, it was Barjak and Velik that heard upstairs. There, yeah, you... I couldn't. Yep, you heard a door creak open up there. Okay, yeah, so you're gonna like to rush up there. Okay. Uh I guess Tedman's just gonna stand by in case someone tries to break through the door and succeeds. Yeah. Tedman will hack him to death. Okay. Ah! Yeah. Okay, so we'll say Tedman <clears throat> right. is holding position. Barjak? Ready action. Yep, I'm going to Stab. I'm going to move one, two, three, four, five upstairs. Okay. And I'm going to that see puts you like, right because here. it is up it is upstairs that I heard the door creak, right? Yes. Alright, so and this I mean, I... angry looking guy with the kitchen knife is downstairs, right? Correct. He's the one standing <laughs> okay. right here. Alright, okay. so that's gonna be five. That's gonna be six. And then I'm going to dash one, two oh boy. There's a lot of doors. Yep, there are three doors down the hallway. One, two, three, four. Can I can I kind of like just like shoulder check both doors to open them up or just one? I would say because you already dashed just one. Right, Although I'm going to open. Okay. Yep. Which one do you want to open? open? I'm going to open the door to the south. The to south the door. south. Okay. Yep. Uh, uh. I don't like that tone. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well. Yeah, you shoulder check this door open, and you see a a, uh, a bandit in there, looking very surprised to see you. And uh, let me see here. Um, uh, see, you have been around here for a day. Um, Is he the one that Amos flirted with? No, no, he's not. Oh. Um, Barj Barjak, roll. Actually, actually, I guess uh, high or low. We'll go with luck. Oh, for I don't for no uh, high. Why not? Okay. Uh, yeah, he looks at you surprised, looks around, and kind of whisper, whispers to you, "What the fuck's going on, dude?" Oh shit! He doesn't know. I'm going, <laughs> I'm going to. I'm going to look at him like, "Oh shit! He doesn't know." Oh shit! He doesn't know. And I'll say. Shit's crazy, man. Hold on, and I'll, ex I'll explain it to you. And then I'll enter and close the door behind me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, and that's going to be the end of my oh, oh, Okay. Uh, just, just, so, uh, just so you are aware, there is a uh, an open door behind him that he came through. That leads out <laughs> up onto the wall. The open... All right. All right. Cool. Cool. Yep. All right. Well, that's my turn. I can't move. I can't really use a bonus action. That's my turn. All right, Alexi. All right. Gonna explore so, down here. Yeah, with the pig skeleton out of the way. Uh, is this lighted, by the way? No, it's not. I don't believe. Let me. I can double check that, but no, I don't Shit, believe it I is. I just realized we split the party. <laughs> uh, okay. I get. There's a small description here for you. Um. Well, I mean, I the... need to get. I guess I need to. Oh no! Nope. There is light. there is light down here. Can you not oh, see? Oh, cool. Nice. Oh, there you go. Ah, no loot. Uh, okay, so you can see though. Yeah, I can see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes, it does. It does say uh, torchlit at the bottom of the stairs. You find a torchlit chamber where two boats bob in an underground stream. The stream flows towards daylight to the east and leads upstream into a darkness towards the west. Ah, no treasure. 
Nope. But, but you can least, but you can loot Jolliver Jolliver if you want. That's that tunnel. Oh yeah, right. I should probably I should entrance probably pick... to it. Oh, I'm so not wait, I what's on know. Jolliver's oh, corpse? That's a good question. Uh well there's his mall. Um let me see if the book has anything on him. Special mall? No. Just just a big old hammer. Oh. Um, Ooh, that's what I want. Nah, I prefer AT. Do I prefer AT? I do prefer AT armor class. Because people can hit really hard and it hurts very hard. Uh, what? Jeez, this book is a mess. What room am I looking for? 16. You've told, you, you've told us several times. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's great. Um, oh, yes, you do find something. You find keys. You find, right. you find a ring with several keys on them. Okay. Um, is there anything else on him? Uh, no. Nothing on his person. Or nothing that else that would be interesting. All right. Most, In which case... Most of his clothes uh, have been either burnt or hulked off, so... Uh, by any, by any, In which case, I uh, head back upstairs. Okay. Give, give me a warp, please. Oh, yes, yes, of course, of course. Well, stop moving your token. Oh, hold up. There we go. Oh, oh there we go. Uh, we'll say you can reach the top of the stairs with your movement. All right, and as I reach the top of my stairs, I say, well, <clears throat> I'm not too sure who he was, but Grimjaw, the, Grimjaw is dead. Also, there's boats down there. Also keys. Uh, we I have I found keys on him as well. Mm. And with that, I end my turn. All right. Amos. Oh <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'm gonna go climb back up. So fifteen. Could you warp me up? Yep. There you go. Uh, so that's fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Mm. 30. Is there like a hallway that I see right here? Uh, yes, that is a hallway. Okay, I'm gonna dash. 10, 15, 20. Okay. So you, you see, I, I'd say you kind of like slip past as Barjak closes the door and you hear him talking to someone in there. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. I move straight <laughs> to this other door. Yeah. yeah, he can handle it. Okay. Uh, is that door locked? Let me double check. Uh, room 21. 21. Uh, nope. Doesn't look like he keeps his room locked. So do you open the door? Yeah. Alright. Uh, you swing open the door. And... Description time. A large semicircular room occupies the western half of this floor of the keep. Three narrow windows look out over the countryside, out the countryside outside the castle walls. The room's furnishings are very plain, including a hard-looking bunk, a small wood table, and a couple of simple chairs. Several large chests occupy the room's southern corner. Cool. Okay. Man, we like chests. Oh, I wonder if they're all locked. Um, let's see. Do I have any bonus action? Nope. Okay, that okay. that's my turn. I will go ahead and give you a perception ch Well, actually, you're not in the room yet. Never mind. Okay. Uh, Velik, it is your turn. Um, I will approach the frightened looking... Is it like a woman? The picture looks like a woman. Uh, yes, it is. And I was uh, looking at it like, would you like to escape this place? Uh, she looks uh, nervously at you and then nods quickly. Uh, Come with me if you want to live. Are there, <laughs> are, there, are there any others here who would like to escape? 
Um, there. Remember, we saw several servants. Uh, there, there are five of us. Go get them quickly, and we will get you out of here. Uh, they're they're kind of just behind her in the room. Oh, they're all like lined up. Basically. Well, so then I'll be like, you know, I'll step back and I'll motion them to come, come. All right. Don't worry, you'll all be free very soon. Uh, you you hear winning. you hear some uh some mutterings from the other room, uh, some some about dirty traitors get their comeuppance. Oh, is this the guy from the, with the kitchen knife? Yeah, you hear a couple of voices muttering in there, but they appear to be kind. Of, they appear to be kind of stuck in that room. <laughs> well, they can stay there. <laughs> Wait, wait, hold well, on. You know what? Float the orb over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the orb comes hurling towards him and he goes, shit, and slams the door. <laughs> uh, you, That's right. Uh, on, on Later on his turn, you'll hear boxes being dragged, or barrels being dragged around like he's barricading the door. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Speaking of which, don't you want to? Should, should we blame this on another cult? That is a hundred percent what I'm going to do. I'm going to go I mean, talk to the guy and say, like, man, those elk, air cultists came in, dropping in those fire cultists guy. It was wild. Oh, I thought you were going to kill him. Uh, okay, no, Bar Barjak. Just just for context, looking out that door. It appears to lead out over the wall, so... Yeah, I, I figured, I figured. He if probably he saw some of what happened. Oh. So you're probably all already right. kill him. Not kill him, I'm going to knock him out. Uh... Okay. It is, it is the bad guy's turn. Um... Uh... Let's see here, Barjak. Give me some kind of. Give me some kind of check to uh, keep keep him listening and not running out to get reinforcements. That's a charisma check. Yeah, Shit. some kind of like. Uh, well, I am equally bad at all of them, <laughs> except intimidation. Okay, How, if you can, if you can spin intimidation. I don't think I can, so I'm going to use a uh, friggin' I don't know uh, any money per set of deception. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I'm assuming I hear Barjok floundering and trying to tell yeah, this what, guy a what, story. What are you telling this this man? Well, like I like I said, man, those air cultists came in, dropping <laughs> in the fire cultists. They met fire everywhere. What what is what is insight? That's wisdom. Yeah. Gonna, 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 <laughs> dude, why did you roll? I rolled a zero. He won. Of course he knows I'm <laughs> Actually, yeah. Well, his wisdom is plus oh, zero, man. so yeah, he, he wouldn't have failed no matter what. I just wanted to see how much. He he kind of looks at you and begins backing or like, what the fuck are you talking about? I didn't see any air cultists. Uh, no, hold on. Hold and he. On. He's going to start, <laughs> and he's going to start no. running out the door. No, no, come back here. No, 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 get here. No, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, he's out the door, and he's beaten feet. Uh, you hear him yelling outside, something's wrong inside! Shit. Oh. Should have just... I'll barricade the door, man. That's what I'm gonna do. Barricade in doors all day, every day. That's all right, cute. Tedmund. <clears throat> what are you gonna do? Um. So are we still uh, just are are we escaping now or? Um. Well, There's I'm thinking. More... I'm trying to decide what's the best way to get these people out of here down the stairs and with the boats, or probably over the rope, over you know, over the wall and down the rope. Yeah. That might not be a I bad probably idea. Probably downstairs. I suspect that those boats come out at this gate here. Yeah, I think Yeah, so but the tricky That's part inside is inside the wall. But we can go on the other side. There is another uh There's the chain in the way though. The 
Nice. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, he found the keys that may unlock that gate that's at that, you know, across that little cave and tunnel entrance. Yep. But then there's still the chain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, didn't you say that the, that the tunnel went the other way, too? Uh, it does go yeah, deeper in, knows yes. Where that goes. We could try and go over there. <laughs> Don't laugh. It's a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> I'm thinking yeah. I'm going to try and slip them out the door and up and, and over the wall, and they can right. swing yeah. to the countryside. Yeah, that's That'd probably idea. be a good idea. All right. What's your plan, Tedman? The door is so... pretty surely locked. Yeah. Is it, like, like is it just like locked or just barred? Because I mean, uh, barred. I would say didn't it... exactly have a key to lock. Yeah, it. yeah. It's 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 barred. So do you want to like, you could try yeah, to. Yeah. So I'd be like, tell Tedman is like, hey, see if you can unbar that door. We'll get these people out and over the down the rope that yeah. you placed. Oh yeah, I forgot um... you left the rope there. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'll, I'll try unbarring it. Okay, uh, you unbar it and look outside. Uh, you see a, that crazy lady followed by two, or with two reavers close behind her coming up the way. Oh. Okay, plan B. <laughs> plan B. <laughs> do you, do you, I assume you shut the door? <laughs> yeah, and I'll bar it. Bar it. So what happened? Okay. Uh, so Hit the table in the way too. Barjak rolled a zero on his deception, so uh -huh. the bandit that was upstairs just ran off, yelling that there's some weird shit going on inside. Uh, Tedman, Tedman just spotted the crazy lady and two reavers walking towards the front door. Uh huh. Um, that's about it so far. Uh, you really should have just killed that bandit. Well, I didn't have time. He okay. didn't have the action to do it. <laughs> He didn't have a chance. All right, Tedman, I, I will say if you want to, you can use your action to start barricading the door. Yep, yep, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So, yeah, you begin pushing, like, tables and desks in front of the doors. All right, it may be time to vacate the premises and then come back and wipe them out later. Probably. Uh, Barjak, it's your turn. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to run over here. Look outside. Do I see? Can I kind of like poke my head out and see if anyone's like reacting to what the guy is saying? I'll go ahead and move you here. Uh, this right. is the bandit. Oh, that, this is the bandit God. that was running. Uh, all of these bandits here appear to be unconscious. Oh, they're un oh, okay. Uh, these reavers so here appear to be drawing swords though and coming towards. Oh fuck! So I'm going uh -oh. to go back inside. Close the door. Is there a... Can I lock the door, too? <laughs> uh, there doesn't appear to be a lock, but there's plenty of beds you can push in front of it. Yeah, I am definitely going to <laughs> kick over the bunks and put and uh, barricade the door as best as I can. And okay. that's basically going to be my whole turn. Okay. Let's see, that's room 20. And I'm going, I'm going to yell out to the rest of the castle, We better get out quick, guys! <laughs> all right uh alexi i mean the situation is dire but this is awesome i'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> i'm glad <laughs> yeah, the situation isn't uh, that dire. no the, the situation is actually yeah. fairly solid yeah. like you guys hey, you know we've what? Got a pretty, we're in a pretty good position you are in a very good position Especially given the escape route we found Mm -hmm. That uh, Jolly Grimjaw was kind enough to show us the way. <laughs> you know what? You're so right. I'm going to even go upstairs and try and unlock all those treasures. So, How do you know about those chests? You don't know about them. Well, I have a set of keys. Ah, right. All right, you know what? Fair enough. I'll uh, I'll call out. Uh, I guess I really can't call out that much. Uh, you can it call out. Hear. I got keys. Does it? Anyone... hear me at all? He did, he did call that out. I did call out that I had keys. Um. Let's see here. I'm a loud person. Uh, you've already taken a look at the desk, so there isn't anything new there. Um. Yeah, I guess it really depends on whatever you want to do. 
No, I was saying, like, does Amos know that I, I have keys, or do I know where Amos went? Uh, I assume I Amos, Amos knows, think... but he yeah, hasn't Amos checked heard. the chests yet, so... Alright, in that case, I'm going to make a calculated decision, say, Hey guys, by the way, uh, there's a bunch of... the there's, a, there's an escape route down that way. I recommend that you start trying to file people towards there. Me? I'm gonna go see what these keys open, and take the dash action. Okay. Let's see here. Twenty thirty can get you the t to the top of the stairs. So now you're over here. Yeah. Give me a moment. Uh huh. All right. And <clears throat> so that's a doorway. That's a doorway. This is also a doorway. Oh jeez, I'm wrong. Yes. Uh, this is the doorway that Barjak is piling things in. This is the door that Amos just opened. This one has not been opened yet. Uh, Amos. I did, yes, I didn't see you from downstairs, but Grimjaw is dead. I also found keys. Do you think, you have any idea what these could open? Maybe. <laughs> All right, great. Great. Right, cool. In that case. Amos. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I still have movement though. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah, that was only yeah, 15 I got, feet. I, did, I took dash, yeah. All right, do you want to open this door, or do you want to go somewhere else? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm going to the chest. So. Uh, I don't think you'd be able to scoot past Amos. This is a very small hallway. Amos, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, but we're going to have to make some sacrifices. <laughs> no, no, like, like, specifically, you would end on Amos' space. All right, fine. I guess I'll open this door, then. Okay. Uh, room 19. All right. Inside you find a Tarrasque! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's so small! Now's just, now the situation's done. No, 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 that room is like the TARDIS. It's bigger on the inside. Oh, All right. shit. Uh, <laughs> you open it up, and it appears to be some kind of library. Old bookshelves line the walls of this room, but most are empty. One old shelf has been cleared and restocked with a selection of tomes. A single bunk sits under the narrow window at the far end of the room, near a small desk, a wooden chair, and a chest. The floor looks wet. The floor looks wet. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess I really can't make an arcana check because I took the dash action, didn't I? Um... No, you can't. Do you have enough movement to get into the room? Uh, that was... Sorry, wait, wrong. I think I he do. does. At least I think I feet. do, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, if you go in there, I'll allow a perception check. I... Wait. Wait. That seems very... Hmm. <laughs> I can't do it now! <laughs> you know what? Uh, Gosh, I love, I... I love how ominous everything you says is when you're a DM. Uh, you know what? Uh, before I do that, I'm going to toss almost the keys and I'm going to say, check to see if they open anything. Okay. And then well, after that, I'm going to take a step inside. Okay. <clears throat> Door Roll. closed behind me. It was all a mimic. Roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a real you mimic. Know, Iron Great crashes behind you. It's like, You're trapped now. <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll a perception check. I thought you was gonna you were gonna say like dexterity saving throw or something. <laughs> <laughs> get me that one. Yeah. What dangerous wet floor. Roll a deck Fucking save. Really? <laughs> Fucking really? Uh yeah, no, you look around the room, you aren't I mean there's there's stuff around you can loot next turn, but <clears throat> I can't believe it. When I actually say I'm gonna get a one, I roll one. <laughs> Yeah, you're not really sure what's up with this wet floor. Technically, that's still Man, infinitely two better. Two ones in a row for the party. This is not looking yeah. good. But technically, his nat one is like infinitely better than my nat. <laughs> Your nat zero, <laughs> yeah. Mathematically speaking. <laughs> All right. Uh, in that case, almost now your turn. Uh, I'm gonna step inside. 
Or did yeah, I? Yeah, you had a turn already. You yeah, oh, you barricaded. Sorry. You were before okay. Alexi. Yeah. Never mind. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. So you step in. Yeah, I want to go to the chest. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Searching through the room. Um, you can also roll a perception check. Sure. Why is there a yellow square by around my token? You're getting probably because you have your cursor over your name on the initiative tracker. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you're right. Never mind. <laughs> uh, perception check. Yeah. Okay. Eleven is good enough. Uh, I'm just too nervous. Looking around the room, you do notice something kind of funny about the wall right here. Oh, cool. I'm going to assume that's a door. Yeah. And not kind of pay more attention to it. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, uh, you begin looting through the treasure chest. They all pop open. Um, while, while Grimjaw doesn't seem to have much interest in... Uh, you know, fancy comforts. He is a pirate lord, so of course he keeps a lot of loot in his room. Uh, so give me the loot. Uh, are you gonna hold on to this, or is this going in the party treasure? This is probably going in party treasure, uh, right? Uh, it depends on Amos. Uh, tell me, oh, tell right, me, yeah. tell me this first. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I'll write it in. Okay, there are six hundred silver pieces. Okay. 450 Electrum pieces. Why did they put Electrum oh. pieces? Yeah, I know, right? Not again. Uh, and Ugh. a leather pouch. A leather pouch containing 15 blue Azerites, worth 10 gold each. No, you okay. have a lot more swords. I guess he didn't need them, though. Okay, so... Well, no, he doesn't even use swords. He has a hammer. Cool. Um, there's five members in the party, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so that's not a lot, I think. Well, it's not like we spent a lot of money to yeah. there until now. I hate electron pieces. <laughs> <laughs> they really do suck. Okay, I'll write this in the party treasury. Yeah, we'll take um, care of it later. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, later. it's easy to calculate. Um, but, um, Two to one ratio for gold pieces. <sighs> yep. Okay. So that would be 225 gold. Let's see what's let's see what's chat's up to. Cultist coins. <laughs> I don't know. Yes. I just tend I just tend to call them hot trash, but I didn't I didn't notice that the book gave them out. So, or else I would have fixed that beforehand. There are also a lot of electron pieces in Curse of Strahd. It's almost like Wizards of the Coast are, are kind of like trying to push electron pieces. <laughs> they're trying to make them a thing. We need yeah. a that's a, that's probably copper. exactly what they're doing. Please, we please need. care about our lore. <laughs> so, just so that whenever a, char a character wishes there's thousand points, they can get screwed over very easily. <laughs> All right. Uh, almost well, you doing anything I'm else? Done. Okay. Velik. Um, well, oh. actually, I'll just move back out after looting it. Okay. I'll say you can step back out into the hallway. Are there other uh, chests? I think I... That was me looting through all the chests, so... Okay. Yeah. There we go. All right, Felic. Um, I can see this guy right here. Yeah, he's kind of running by the window. I'm going to tell everyone that's in front of me to duck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they get out of the way. 
and then... No problem, boss. Uh, yeah, that hits. Oh, God, uh... I hate this fireball. Oh, it pisses me off. <laughs> you, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Um, uh, yeah, it kind of, like... hurts. It kind of, like, uh... This is the one that was running down the stairs yelling that something's going on inside. This bolt of fire suddenly, like, whips past him and, like, singes across his, like, singes his hood. This actually hurts. Seeing that number, it actually hurts. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I did. On a detail. Hold on, hold on. Damn, I rolled an actual D10 and I got a three. <laughs> Velik, take two points of psychic damage from disappointment. There. <laughs> All right. Um, after that, I'm going to step back and I'm going to, you know, wave everyone down the stairs. Down the stairs. Go. Down the stairs. <laughs> um. <clears throat> okay. I mean, you still there. have to. You still have to figure out what to do about the chain. But sure. I mean, if if. Oh, well, for one thing, if the bad guys happen to bust into here, they'll be safer down the stairs than they will in any room upstairs, you know, on the ground floor or the upstairs. I'm hoping. Okay. Let me see. Are there so windows that's wide just kind of like, that's kind of like put them the safest place for now until we figure out how to get them out of here. Okay. They're not very wide. But, if you wanted... So the windows down here are very much just arrow slits. But there are yeah, a couple of... Figured. There are a couple of narrow windows upstairs. You could try to, like, lower them out through there if you wanted. Yeah. It's up to you. And there's boats down there. Yeah. I mean... Well, I want to... I need a little more time to assess the situation, I think. Okay. Yep. So we'll just tuck them downstairs for now, so that they're out of the way and safe. So you're basically gonna like put them in the staircase and just close the door. Uh, I wasn't gonna close the door yet. Okay. I just tell them to go downstairs and be quiet, and we'll either escape through that way down there, or we will escape another way. But we haven't figured that out yet. Okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> we through. We didn't just walk in here. <laughs> um. And as a bonus action, I'm going to quaff a potion of healing. All right. That's what two D four plus two. Yes. Yep. That's pretty nice. I like that. Hey, that's not bad. It gets me almost, Max, almost up to uh, full health. Almost. Nice. So when the Reapers break in, we can fight Sick. them again. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, now it's everyone else's turn. Let's see. How far does the message spread? Oh, hold on. I think I have a little more movement. Oh. So I'm going to move a yes, little closer to this arrow slot <clears throat> this arrow slit down here so that i can shoot people all right let's see here um all right well it's the bad guy's turn um uh tedmond you hear uh Aggressive knocking from the other side of the door, yelling, What is this nonsense? Um, Everything is fine. And uh, beginning to rant. Um, uh, this bandit out here that you just shot at just goes, Shit! Um, and begins to uh, scramble back up the stairs. Now, let's back see. up here? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, he makes it like to there. Uh, let's see how many people follow him. Uh, 
How many people hear him? Ooh, not many. Um, oh. I'll say these. Uh, Velik, you managed to see through your window a couple of... Uh... Oh, I see one. Let's see. They can make it to... Yeah. Uh, bop, bop, bop. There's three of them out there. Uh, they, they appear... From what you can see, they appear to be, like, slipping and sliding around on the ice. I like this. I like this. All right. Oh. So that's the... Tempted. That's the bad guy's I'm turn. I'm so tempted. Tedmund, <coughs> what are you going to do? Tedmund. Um, yes, his name so is Tedmund. So the door's barricaded. So uh -huh. I feel pretty safe for now. Um, and before doing anything really... I mean, not going to escape while other, uh, other members of the party are upstairs. So I guess all I can do is... Uh, well... While waiting for them, uh, loot, I guess. <clears throat> okay. Uh, looking around the room. Let's see here. Did Sholar have anything on him? Uh, you find just a normal-ass dagger on him. Uh, you find some key... Uh, uh... Yeah, you find a key on him as well. Um... Uh, he doesn't appear to have much on him. You'd think that maybe you think that maybe the rest of his loot is on his boat. Ah, makes All sense. Right. Yeah. Uh, Ashnora. Um. Well, you walk over and you you begin to like turn her over, looking for loot, and uh, she is. Even despite the, uh... Actually, I don't think she got hit by fire damage, did she? Um... She was. Oh, yeah, she did get hit by a little fire damage, but yeah. Uh, she's very... Damp, moist? Damp? Like, not even just clammy. Like, it just seems like she's just covered in a layer of water. Hmm. Um... Uh, but otherwise, you find, um, let's see, do you find anything on her? Uh, uh, you find a, uh, another dagger and a pouch with, uh, ten gold in it. All right. Two gold each. <laughs> 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 Alright, it's more than any of the Electrum we got. <laughs> Barjak. Alright. What's up? Alright. Alright. So, first of all, mm -hmm. there is, like, a window here, right? Yes. From this window, can I see the people climbing up the stairs? Yes. Uh, you see the bandit kind of scramble up and begins to, like, bash into the door and or tries to open the door and is very confused why it won't and begins to try and bash it uh, i'll just go ahead and move your token real quick so you can kind of see what's going on out there okay uh these four here are slipping and sliding and trying to make their way to the stairs all right so since i don't really have much other things to do i am mm -hmm. going to take my light crossbow and take a shot at one of the at one of the uh Reavers. Okay. Or at least I'm gonna try to. Alright, fair enough. Huh. Not uh bad. let me do I have the character sheet up? Actually I can get rid of these character sheets. Jolliver's dead. Um yeah. Rest in peace, Jolly. Jolly old Grimjaw. He will be missed by few. His poor mom and his pirate father. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, their armor class, yeah, that hits. Alright, yeah, right, so that's that, I'm going to damage, uh, ignore the six, it's only going to be five. Okay. 
And with that, I am going to retreat. Go one, two, three, four. And I'm going to look at both. Um, I'm going to look at both uh, friggin' Alexi and at um, what's it? Was her? It was his face. I was gonna say like, look, they're coming upstairs. I, you, are we fighting or are we running right now? Let's go. Uh, that depends. There might be something in this room. It's very wet in here. <laughs> I, I show them the points. It could be important. Yeah, yeah Amos is running out with like an arm full of gold. <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to close the door behind me. Right? I imagine I can't really lock it from this side. And I'm going to hold my action. I'm going to hold a dash action until uh, until uh, Alexi goes past me so that we don't uh, like run into each other. Okay. I've never heard of someone holding a dash action before, but sure. Well, well. I'll allow it. Why not? That's, yeah. Okay. So as you turn, Alexi, you're going to search the room? Absolutely. All right. Uh, first things God. first, I'm going to take all the tomes. I'm going to open up that chest. I'm not even going to read the tomes. I'm just going to put them in my bag and get them. <laughs> yeah, I was about to ask, are you going to read the books? I'm, I'm just stripping the room down. It looks important. It's The floor is wet. That's a, that's a sign. That's probably where the other one sleeps. Yeah, Ooh. exactly. So give me that chest and give me that desk and give me the books. Okay. Uh, there's a small wooden chest by her bed. Looking inside, you see 80 silver pieces, 30 right. gold pieces. Ugh, the good currency. <laughs> nice. <laughs> a uh, silk pouch that holds four excellent jaspers worth, worth 70 gold each. Man, this lady's grifting these people. The, and you find uh, two scrolls. Uh, and... There's about a dozen books. Um, you're not entirely sure. Well, actually, I'll just tell you so you know what to write down. There are a dozen books. Each one appears to be worth 25 gold each. Most cover nautical topics, including charts, excerpts from ship's logs, and things like that. Sorry, I, I didn't keep track for a moment. I gotta go put treasury, I think. Uh... Are, are Can you, you say that again? The, the whole thing? Uh, yeah, I, could, I wrote them down in my notes. Okay. I'll, I'll just add them. Okay, so yeah, it's 60 silver, 30 gold, four excellent jaspers worth 70 gold each, two scrolls, uh, and a dozen books worth 25 gold each. Uh, All right. Talking about nautical things. All right, and with that, I use the rest of my movement, and I get the hell out of here. All right. <laughs> I just couldn't. I you couldn't. I couldn't leave it like that. <laughs> Thank you, chat. I hate it. So now, <laughs> um. All right. So it I'll... looks like that in my attempt to not clog the hallway. It seems that the hallway has been even more clogged. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so as, uh, as, as Alexi get, uh, gets out, I'm going to go like 5, uh, uh, 15, uh, uh, 25. <laughs> well, I'll say you can cut around the corner, but yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to end up like uh, here. All right. So, yeah. And uh, yeah. Amos? Yeah, that's my turn. It's your turn. Uh, yeah, um, let's see. I'll give you the loot in a minute. Um, I'm gonna go down. So. 30, so warp me down, DM. <laughs> Beam me down. <laughs> Beam me down, Scotty. And then I'm gonna be like, we have loot, and they just like, <laughs> put <laughs> the gold in my arm. <laughs> 
Or the silver pieces and the the white drop. Um, and I'm just gonna, I guess, ask what the plan is. Like, what are we? What are we gonna do? Well, are we going down? We can go down. I'm pretty sure we're still gonna be trapped by the chain, so we can assault that tower, kill everyone in the tower, lower the chain, and escape. That sounds good with me. Or I'll we just... could fight our way out and go down the rope that uh, Tedman set on the north wall. Let's minimize battle. Well, okay. So, you know that there is... If we're lucky, then, the people, then, then some of the people from that tower on the river were pulled out to help deal with the fire that we set in the building. Uh, so let's go, not let's in, the go tower. in the river. Yeah, let's, let's go, go down. Area. You do know that there is a there is a man like a, a Shnora here in that tower. And we yeah, can float our boat if we there. keep him busy, two people can fight him, and another person can lower the chain, and another person, and then like two more people can get the boat out. And the freaking and the freaking peasants are going to roll for us. Because yeah, their, their lives depend on it. Their lives depend on it. Yeah, with, um... with that, I'm going to just dash. Okay. Um... I'm just going to get up to here. Uh... Here. You, you, you do know that the uh, cranking it will take a little while, as in, uh, mechanically speaking, three actions to lower the to chain. the chain? Ah. Can't oh. we just like break the the pulley or something, that's, and let the chain drop? That's or a something? thick shaft of wood. Like, Real Ooh, that's all right. Swords. That's all right. I mean, we'll figure it out. I, we're not getting out of here without a fight. Uh huh. I mean, we can always just take the emergency boats downstairs with Grimjaw. That no, well, but that goes out. But that comes out inside the wall. Does it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, in yeah. that case, you can always, always, always just, like, wait there and, like, wait for, like, ten... Wait until nightfall. No. We're still gonna have to fight. Hey, yeah, we can sneak out, like, when it's, like, a different time but, and things die like down. Are you, are you doing anything else? No. Alright, I'm gonna try and kind of help even the odds for us a little bit. So, first, I want to... Move this back there. Okay. My bonus action. Um, can I stand like right here, DM? Sure. You can kind of like scoot yourself in to the uh, arrow slit. Yeah. Oh, ah, you fucking bitches. That's all right. I'll get half of them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Burning hands. Bop. Yes, sir. All right. Ooh, that's pretty good. Okay, deck saving throw from. Damn. Damn. That's gonna hit two of them. Two of them. The, those first two. Uh, two reavers. Deck saving throws. Fail. Yes. Fail. Fail. Yes. Uh. Yes. I don't know if yes. they were. I don't know if they. They're not bandits, so I mean, if they were bandits, that eleven would kill them. But well, the um, bandits. the one yeah, that you hit with a fire, the one that you hit with a firebolt collapses and kind of slides into the wall here. <laughs> uh, the other one's yes. still running, though. Oh well. Even the one that I hit with a crossbow bolt. Oh wait, no, oh, that was the one you hit with the crossbow bolt, right? I forgot the one oh, that yeah. the fire bolt is up on the wall. I fire bolted the bandit. That's yeah, right. that's what um, it was. I got it mixed up. So yes, Barjak helped right. you kill that one. Yay! Yeah. Oh, there, another one down. All right. Another one severely burnt. And two more. Like shit, there's a flamethrower in that window. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's the fire cult. They'll probably think that. Because, I mean, I'm basically, I, that's all I do is fire. 
I mean, yeah, actually, now I think about it, you kind of, you kind of completed the plan, but with just a different cult. Uh, um. So, that's my action. All right. Um, I don't think, I might, if I get another chance to flame some of them, I will, but. Let's see, so he can make it up. Can this one make it up? So that's 10. Oh, that uh, damage could have been so much better. Alright, so yeah, these two are still slipping around, but the other one makes it onto the stairs and up the wall. I'm almost tempted to wait for them in the hallway and fight them there. Almost. Just create like a little fight hallway, like in Star Wars. Exactly. Like, Alright, uh, these, exactly like these two are going to start back. These two are going to start bashing at the door. Like the 300 Spartans and the hot gates. Uh, right. <laughs> I'm gonna say, uh, yeah. no. You you hear crashing, but so far the door has yet to move. Uh, over here, the, uh, priestess will yell, Open this door at once! And these two, since there's two of them and it's a big door, I'm gonna go ahead and give them advantage. Oh, no. Oh, I still no. think we could take oh, them. I mean, no. they're all separated. Don't uh, worry, guys. I can on them. Um, let's see. Uh, a 19. I will say the barricade begins to start toppling down. The bar is still holding very well, but it seems like they're making some progress on the front door. And I'm going to roll some d20s here. Uh, nope. Nope, he still hasn't noticed anything. They still haven't noticed anything. Okay. That's their turn. They're starting to break down the doors. Or at least some of them are trying to. Well, I did just use another spell slot on that. Um, the more things if go it, on, if the more we're I just... we need to go now, and if we're gonna stay and fight, then we need to figure that out now. The the more now the more the things time. go on, the more the more I like, I don't know if it's the right thing, but I I m like our odds more and more. I kind of want to stay and fight. <laughs> I mean, as long as there's no more werewolves, I can like, definitely fight. Yeah, I mean, longer. like right here, I can right here, I can fight and I can fight like uh, I can fight them one at a time. Right. But here's the thing, though. I can also just cast Frighten on them and try and keep them away from us. Because mm. I think that dreadful aspect works through behind doors as well. Okay, so who uh, What does it say? Because it just says of your choice in 30 feet. So it doesn't they, say anything about fail, that you they... can see or anything? Uh, it does not. Okay. So I would, just, just I would say as long as they can, aid. I'll say you can get away with sound, like, as long as they can hear you. Uh, All right. Each creature of your choice, within 30 feet of you, must make a wisdom saving throw if it can see you. Oh, if it can see you? Does it? Shit, sorry. Yeah. Okay. All right. Never mind, then. In that case, uh, your call. If you want to start a fight, I can finish it. Probably, maybe. Uh, I'm up see, for it. I got no more divine smites left, so I'm gonna have to rely basically on hitting things. <clears throat> I Admin prefer to escape down. action. Now I think about it. I also don't even have my AOE breath attack. <laughs> hey, that was still clutch, though. I know, but I don't have it right now. That's the issue. <laughs> Let's put it to a vote. Who wants to stay and fight? I kind of do. Yeah. I'm good either way. I'm I'm good either way. All right, let's 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 try it out. Let's uh, let's stay in the uh, in the uh, and have a friggin' uh, the last stand. <laughs> All right. I mean, like I said, if if push comes well, to shove, you can try to like rope out a window or off the walls yeah. or something. Mm-hmm. 
Actually, I don't. I think you guys might be a little. Most of you would be a little too large to fit through the windows up here. That that's the thing. It's you, air slots. You're not gonna. We're not squeezing through arrow slots. Right, but the nope. downstairs are arrow slots. The upstairs windows are a little larger. But I'd say maybe the commoners could get through. But like and like Amos and maybe Tedman could and Vela could try to squeeze through. I don't think there's any way Barjak can especially Alexi could fit through that. <laughs> so that's not really a viable option because we're not leaving people behind. Not through the windows, at least, no. No, but while they're still bust... I mean, one thing we could do is while they waste their time trying to bust in here, we could go take that tower and lower the chain. I like that idea. Okay. Or we yeah, like, stay here. Sense, our sh your, or... The ship we have already has stuff on it too, right? Not really. Oh. Or we could stay here and try and kill everyone here. I like our position mm -hmm. here, honestly. Yeah. Okay, let's stay here then. I mean, you know, we are in a pretty good spot here where, you know, yeah. I mean, I got I got another turn before they can bust in. I'll put that my uh, flaming spear right by the door. So as soon as they bust in, they're going to... Run into that flaming sphere. They're going to take mm -hmm. damage. Yep. You do have a yeah, very let's... defensible position. Yeah. Let's stay. Yep. Let's stay here. And then That's I can stay sense. here. I mean, and, and but I mean, I can leave the flaming sphere there while we run, and it would stay there, at least for a little while. Yep. That would slow them down. But I mean, either or, we 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 got a good defensible position here, but we yeah. got a way out. Yeah, Tedman, what do you do? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, even um. If we manage to kill him, and we can still push out, and the commoners can escape up north. Um, yeah. Tenman is gonna yell up the stairs. You need my help up there. Uh, um. Since I'm the Bar only one left. Barjok will and will yeah. Barjok will yell out. Um, Barjok will and will yell out. Mm. It should be good for uh, for a few uh, for a few moments. Okay. Friggin' and, bottleneck him at the door, man. Yeah, that's, what, by I'm the door. Do. that's yeah. what I'm gonna do. Yeah, he's bottlenecking I mean, them in the hallway right these now. These guys down here, bottleneck them at the door. Where are you right now, almost? Downstairs. I'm downstairs. No, no. Uh, where's Bar? Oh, Barjak's over there. Yeah, I'm. I'm okay, still so upstairs. Let's go over there. <clears throat> I'm still upstairs. Oh are yeah, get yourself in a. If you got range attacks, it's even better, Tedman, because I can place the flaming spear. You know, in front of the door to try and kind of hold them back a little bit, and uh, yeah, you can just um, we can you can shoot arrows at them. I can try and flame these people to get out the air, uh, arrow slit again. See if I can get any more of them. Yeah, I think and, I'll back uh, up a bit. and um, I'll, I'll I guess I'll take my crossbow out and. Um... I'll hold an action in case they break through. They attack. They attack them. All right. So you're gonna prepare to attack. Yeah. All right, Barjak. I assume. Bar yeah, Barjak. Yeah, I'm going to go back here. I have a potion in my in my uh, in the, I have a potion of healing in my inventory. I'm going to pull it out and say like, "Mom, Dad, this is for you saying that I've never had guts." I'm going to uncork <laughs> it, chug it down, and I'm going to heal real quick. That's two d four plus two. Okay. Yeah. Eh, better than nothing. And once I drink it, I'm going to smash the bottle on the ground and say, and say like, all right, crack my neck left and right, roll my shoulders a little bit. No put guts, no glory. Of, pull my shield in front of me, my electric axe on my shoulder, and take the dodge action. Uh, I think you're overlapping with Alexi right now. Who, me? Yeah. Oh. Uh. Well, oh, here he is. Hey. Yeah, so you're going to take your stand there, then? Who, me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, probably. So, Alexi, is he going to... Is he going, <laughs> going past me, or is he also going to... Uh... Actually, you... Oh, I did... 
Oh, I'm stuck in the hallway right now. Yeah, I, I, right. I, I would say you guys can actually, like, go on either side of the door and get ready to attack. Yeah. There you go. We're going to do, yeah. we're going to do that. I, okay. In which case, we're going to do it like Lord of the Rings. Yep. All right, so you both prepare attacks then? Yep. No, All dodge. Right. I, I'm preparing an attack. Barjak is preparing to dodge. No, I, I have, have dodging. I'm does taking not. the dodge action. Why are you taking the dodge action? Why not? Motherfucker. Because people are coming through. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And when they come through, they're going to try and hit one of us. Oh, that's fair. Uh, yes, yeah. But we can take our reaction to hit them first. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take them. I'm going to hold my attack then. Yeah. All right, so as soon as someone comes walking through that door, you guys are going to cut him down. Band, if it's the bandit, I burned him a little bit, and he doesn't have a lot. You can kill him in one hit. I, I don't and think the bandits are going to survive action. If it's that survive. first, if it's that first, like, reaper or whatever, um, I got them good. Yeah, yeah. All right. The thing is, so can't... you could you whoever is first, you could pop, potentially kill them with their first hit. Probably, almost. So, so there's a good case for for taking the, you know, holding your attack action. I didn't know Alexi was up here. That changes things. Yep. Yeah, I was in like a dark area of the corridor, so I was like literally in a blind spot. I thought you went downstairs. Yeah, yeah you were kind of around the anyway. corner from each other. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that entire, like, went downstairs, Barjok thought All right, guys, almost, almost oh, his turn. We got, we got to wrap up. It's yeah. 10 o'clock. Yeah, um, I'll just cast. The moment the door, the front door kind of comes down, I'll cast um, Cloud of Daggers, like, right in front of the, like, <laughs> either right next, to yeah so it's kind of like in the center part so okay. that i hit both whoever steps into the right inside so i hit two things at once if it's so, both so i have a question then um if i put my flaming spear there would she would 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 almost be able to put cloud of daggers in like roughly the same spot so then it would be a cloud of flaming dagger <laughs> <laughs> Um, I would say yes, but I believe Flaming Spheres when they end their turn there, correct? Uh, yeah. So... Then mine's the first time on a turn or a start but, turn there. But if they, if they ram into it, which, if they don't and know it's there, I believe it's first through the door, if they ram into it, they take damage. Okay. I mean... Okay. Technically, it says if I ram it. Into yeah, them, that, that's what I'm saying. I will give that's them a. The same thing as them ramming into it. I will give them a chance to like run into Avoid it. The... Yeah, okay. yeah. But yeah, but, I'm, but I'm I will I will say yes. The the sphere of flaming, the sphere of flaming daggers will give it extra. Give the daggers like extra intimidation. <laughs> yeah, but I'm holding it until they like. Step inside. Okay, God, sounds good. Can. So, so it could be the case where they they burst through the doors, run into the flaming sphere, get burned, and then suddenly daggers, a cloud of fire daggers. Yes, suddenly knives. Uh, and then yeah, I have to step out. Yeah, I was about to say Velik, and then we're gonna end for tonight. Okay, right, I have to so... end the call, so I'll have to leave. Sorry. Okay, no, it's all right, Amos. Yeah, bye. bye. See you next week. Bye. All right, I'm gonna friggin' burning hands those two. No, Granny doesn't come to the D and D streams. He only shows up for uh, uh, Noita. Sorry, uh, Velik. Uh, I'm burning hands. Those two I see out the window. Again? <laughs> How many spell slots do you have? Infinite. I am out of first level spell slots, but I have enough sorcery points. I can make another first level spell. Slot <laughs> sorcerers, sorcerers, everybody. Sorcerers. Magic and they could still kick so that's ass. Uh, fourteen. Okay, uh, two reavers. If they, uh, fail. Uh, deck save, deck save. Ah, uh, they both make it. What? I'm not seeing shit. It's a fifteen and you a seventeen. The, uh, you got the um No it's the whisper. On it's it's not whispering. whispering it. What? Well we don't see it on our end. 
Uh, I mean, roll I'm, twenty. I mean, they're here. Chat can vouch for me. I see the burning hands. Yeah, I can. Roll twenty must be goofing. But I can't see their rolls now. Well, they succeed, so they take seven points of fire. Yep, they take seven points each. Double check. Yeah, they're on never whisper rolls. Roll twenty is just being slow. Huh. Yeah. Well, the saving throw is gonna pop out any minute now. All right. See, so, yep, they both take seven points of fire damage as they run past this window. And that's where we're gonna have to call it for tonight. Yeah. Right, well, hold on, I'm not done yet. I got oh. a more to do. A little bit more. I'm going to step back from there. Bonus action. Put my oh, connection to the server has been interrupted. That would explain why. Yeah. What? Well, I mean, it still let me move my token and my flaming spear, so... Yeah, I can't see you moving things. <laughs> it must be... It's probably yeah. just on my end. Let me refresh the page. Yeah. Now, DM, mm -hmm. I will say, after this... I I think it's pretty fair that we level up after this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think you just barely hit level four, but there are a lot of enemies here, so I mean once once we resolve it, we'll figure out. I can't wait to get my extra deck. I mean I can figure out how much you've gotten just from this bit of combat now. Um, but a lot of the people outside, they're gonna be like you're not going to, even if they aren't, don't die, you're not going to get them until you get out of the building. So, so I just, I stepped back away from the arrow slot, kind of further into the main room, and I moved my flaming spear to right in front of the door. Okay, yep, I see that. So that wherever they come in, they're going to run in, if, you know, they're either going to run into the flaming spear, or they're going to stay outside. Oh, that is a good point. Yeah, Keegan does raise a point, a good point. You can't uh, you need a long rest to level up. Oh, Keegan's here? Yes, Keegan's here. Hi, Keegan. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm not saying we should level up like in Skyrim. And level up yeah, yeah. Up the encounter. <laughs> yeah, Keegan, Finn says hi. <laughs> he says hello. hello. Uh, Anyways, that's my turn now. Okay. And... My burning hand, those guys out the, the window, those rat bastards passed. I I I was kind of hoping that the name. A fourteen would be enough to kill them if they failed. Uh, no, actually they had fifteen health, so oh. they would have had one health well, left. Well, they're each. down to eight health. They're yeah, down to eight now. Yeah, but... don't worry. Me, me and uh, Alexi, we should be able to do to take. No. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, you... I, I took a big, I took another big bite out of him for you guys. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, Bar Barjak and Alexi have like a fucking kill zone here set up. Yeah. No. <laughs> and, 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 and I softened him up for you. Hammer Bill and sword. is definitely the MVP of this game. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we're calling it there for tonight. Um. I hope I you guys you said that. Yeah, I think you said that if this was your first uh, spellcaster, right, Jake? No. Uh, no, this is my first sorcerer. No, he pl he All played right. a druid. Remember? Yeah, I well... played a druid, and I played a wizard in one of the one shots that Vo ran. Back oh when yeah, started. that was the uh, the oligarchy camp. Or that was shot. my. Uh, I mean, that wizard was shit because I rolled shit for the stats. <laughs> but... Um, Gosh, that was a fun one shot. I, I like that one. But this, so this is like my first real full arcane caster for a campaign. Mm -hmm. Well, right. I don't know. I would argue the druid was well. No, you pretty much spent the whole time just casting Shillelagh, even though this is the first efficient. I'm sorry, spell I, I, I don't. I don't know that. So Ma I magic it, Irish uh, beating I stick. Different... Yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you spent the whole time swinging Magic Irish Beating Stick, even though you specifically built a circle druid, or like a, a circle of Nate, was a circle of the ocean druid? The land. Circle of the coast. Coast, yeah. I believe. Which, which those circle of the land druids are specifically I mean, the spellcaster druids. I did use druids. other spells, like, I did, I did put up a wall of fire. Oh yeah, yeah, no, you did. You, you were a killer with that wall of fire. 
So, I mean, I didn't just cast Magic Irish Beating Stick, but... Um, uh, but yeah. I don't know, like, a lot of my spells weren't really good combat spells. That's fair. Most... Most aren't for uh, druids. They're they're pretty supportive. Yeah. Whereas I will say, whereas sorcerers oh, are nukers. <laughs> yeah, I will say I enjoyed this sessions very much. I'm glad. I'm glad you enjoyed it. This this was. Yeah. I kind of. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying the. I'm enjoying being the. Uh, you know, doing the, this castle siege. Where yeah. We, uh, you know, we took the castle through through subterfuge. Mm-hmm. And now we're defending it. And it's going to be our castle. Yeah. If no one else wants it. It'll be my castle. <laughs> <laughs> I was. <laughs> I can't believe how well that went. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm surprised at how well that combat went because, uh, let me, let me see. What, what were they? Um, uh, let's see. I mean, Jolliver himself, he was a, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone there was at least was like CR three or four. Uh, Jolliver was four. Uh, let's see, what was what was that one lady? And we're about to kill a bunch of uh, reavers and. Uh, oh, she was only CR two. Yeah, I mean, so so all the people we've killed so far. Uh, give give me experience. So we kill we killed four. All right, let's right? see. Yeah, I'll go ahead and give it to you now. Don't uh, forget, we also I, killed a no, bunch no, of I mean, bandits outside. Don't just, we don't you don't have to give us the experience to the end. I'm just kind of curious, like how much experience total those four were worth, and then. Uh, let's see. Just just in this room alone. Let me see. S H O L. Yeah. So like the 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 tiefling quote unquote tiefling. Oh, shoot! Is... I just deleted the tiefling. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. His his little buddy, the um. Uh, let's well, see. Uh, the the watery chick and Jolly himself. Uh, well, let's see here, and I believe yeah, Pick was just a thug. So you'll get all of the bandits that are not unconscious. Outside. You'll get all of those ones when you leave. Just just for these four that were in the room alone. Let's see, it was 100 for the thug. And then Sholar, Sholar was CR4, so that's 111 right there. Or no, not 111. 1,100. I can read. So 1,100? <laughs> 1,100. Yeah, that's what I meant to say, and I got my numbers mixed up. Same with Jolliver. So 1,100? That's another 1,100 for him. And then uh, she was worth 450. That's a total of 2,750. Yep. Divided so, over five 550 people. 550 a piece. So 550 that 550 a piece. Yep. 550 XP a piece. Don't don't add that in now because I will. There will be more. Yes, there will be a lot more, and I'd, I'd, I'd like to try and, like, keep track of this as best I can on my, uh, on my, uh, sure. uh ex my, ex my, ex my, ex the, eh, experience. my, my Excel sh experience right. sheet, yeah, spreadsheet. I could have went, I could have played a lot longer, but then again, I, I arrived, like, an hour late, so, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's, it's mostly just because I almost had to leave, so, mm. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm glad you guys had fun. I was not expecting this to turn into, I wasn't entirely expecting this to turn into like a castle siege, but like I'm, I'm, I'm having fun with it, <laughs> and I'm, I'm glad you guys are too. I'm here for it. I'm, I'm just happy that I was like, man, how, how fucked up are you gonna get in this session? <laughs> Uh, not how as many times is this were how many times is Werebore gonna stab me to death? Yeah, not as not as fucked up as I was expecting. Jolliver yeah. should have Which one which Jolliver one of us went is going down. to yeah, which one of us is going to become a werebore now? <laughs> well he never he never swung with his tusks, so you didn't have to worry about that. Yeah, he only he only landed with his maul, and that was it. But yeah, I mean, he was he was rolling with a plus five to attack, and and he missed almost every attack. Yeah, and he was supposed to be doing like two d six plus three damage per hit. But um, 
And then, yeah, freaking, I just started throwing the fire on everyone. Yeah, no. Everyone got a little fire. Oh yeah, yep. I'm 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 liking Velik more and more. I'm I'm kind of disappointed that Sholar didn't manage to get away, because I was almost just like, what if I just made him a reoccurring villain? I kind of was no. thinking that was gonna be. But the you case, just like just smote be... him out of existence. <laughs> like every time he shows up, he's like, not again. Hey, you you let him you you let him be trapped in that room with us. Uh huh. So actually, what I should have done realizing it now is i should have just had a misty step out the window but i wanted to <laughs> but i wanted to give you a chance to kill him i didn't want to just have i didn't want to just have him i didn't want to have him just poof out i wanted to have him run somewhere where if you wanted to you could run after him Villain, did you take damage i did yeah oh okay he took a tidal wave right at the beginning all right Oh, right there at the beginning, freaking Mr. Tiefling that wasn't supposed to be a Tiefling. Yeah. Tidal wave and hit me and um, me and Alexi. Yeah, he took a All third right. level spell to the face and just shrugged it off like it was nothing. Yeah, I, mean, I, uh, I did. I, 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 did I crit past my. I crit past the saving throw, so. Uh huh. Natural 20 mm -hmm. on the saving throw. I did use um, all my lay on hands, though. And then, uh. Yeah, and then I just spent the rest of the fight in that main room just throwing fire at everybody. That chiefling tried to throw a magic missile at me, but uh, I had an answer for that. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody expects the panic. All yeah. right. And then, uh, and then, and then his next attempt to uh, attack me, he, he failed miserably because All right. magic I missile. have. Baller AC for a sorcerer. Yeah, you do. <laughs> That's because my dex is... I have got freaking some pretty decent dex. Alright, well, I think... I have, a, I have a 16 in dex, so... 13 for... Yeah, it's the 13 plus dex water Ooh. fire for my draconic resilience. Mm-hmm. Alright, Vela, quit, uh, yeah. quit flexing. Let's, let's end the stream for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everybody. Thank you so much for coming out to the stream the tonight. This is the best characters I've ever had, man. I gotta, I, I'm enjoying the hell out of it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm glad you guys are having a lot of fun. This, this, this was like... I, I was just like, oh no, this is going slow. And then I'm like, wait, no, this is actually kind of fun. I wasn't uh, the character I've had the most fun playing in one of the in one of these games with our group mm -hmm. is either uh, the rogue or actually no there's three it's either the rogue I made uh, I made the half orc one that got changed into a statue <laughs> either the golden dragon uh, you're a rogue inquisitor love yeah. that guy uh, either the either the the uh, the paladin dragonborn oh uh, soul trained. Yeah, Soul Train. And, <laughs> Soul then, <laughs> and then, of course, there's the the big the big guy, my 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 boy Punier. Punier, he's a classic. <laughs> All right. Classic. Oh, Soul Train was your uh, first character to, that you ever played in the group. Yeah, it sure in, was. In our group. Yep. Was our it, a debut one shot that we ran. Yep. It sure was, and I thought it was just a Sorry. one shot, so I flirted with Anna's character. <laughs> <laughs> and then you brought Sultran back. <laughs> yeah. All Sorry. right. Because uh, one of my other favorite characters was my character from that game, fucking Ilgric the, the Unwavering. The Unwavering, <laughs> yes. Oh man, we should probably bring those guys back at some point for a one shot. There's, That'd be fun. A, yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Well, let's let's end it for tonight. Well, I'm gonna head out with them, guys. Yeah. Thanks, chat. Yeah, thank for you for stopping. everyone for stopping by, chat. Um, have a great weekend. Yep. Uh, have a great weekend. Don't forget to check out the videos on YouTube, which I am uploading again. I'm working on that. Um, mm -hmm. They should all be up. Uh, also, our Discord channel. Uh, keep an eye on that for any more upcoming streams. And we'll see you all next Friday, 7.30, for more Princes of the Apocalypse. Later, guys. Goodbye. Long. <laughs>